for Jen in your roster. 6'3", 195, averaging 15 points and four rebounds a game. The forward, Dane Watts now leading the team in rebounding at seven rebounds a game. Number 50, 6'8", junior out of Warrensburg, Missouri, averaging 10 points as well. He's got two double-doubles in his last four games. And the man in the middle, the A-train, number 44, 6'9", 245 out of Springfield, Missouri. Anthony Tolliver with a team high 15 block shots. He's averaging 13 points and almost seven rebounds a game. And here we go. Tolliver and Richards will tee it up in the center circle. Blue Jays moving left to right in their home whites. Bears in their burgundy uniforms with the white trim, white numerals. Tolliver and Richards in the center circle. And here we go. Officials, Vern Harris, Don Daly, and Sam Banks. Quest Center, late arriving crowd. They're all on their feet for this opening tip. It, it's packed now, T. Scott. Yes, There's it well, is. There's not many empty seats. And here we go, the Blue Jays trying to remain unbeaten here at home. That ball tipped around and into the hands of Ahern. Got a very good uh, throw up by the uh, official. Ball, no, by the way. <laughs> not at all. Favorite Richards, Blue, <laughs> up on the high wing near side. Out Cheney. Over to Lori. Lori on the move. They're looking for Ahern early on. Miles is on him. And Blake Ahern runs his defenders through screens better than anybody as He's well as anybody. Off a lot of them, T. Scott. You bet he is. Lori now working on Funk. Kicks out. Chaney with the ball. High wing near side. 10 on the shot clock. He's going to get all the way down inside the paint. High floater no good. Ballou with a rebound. Tied up by Porter. And they'll say a reach in on Nick Porter. Initially thought he had him tied up. Now Porter going to be calling for his first personal first team foul. And it's going to be key today to win the battle on the board today because Missouri State goes the offensive glass really well, T. Scott. And they're going to say he was in the act of shooting. Oh, they're so going to give him a shooting foul? Ballou is going to go to the line where he is at an 84% free throw shooter. He is good. 41 of 49, make it 42 of 50 on the season. It looked like he didn't get a shot up, though. No. Welcome to our perspective on the officiating. <laughs> Knocks them both down. Bears take an early lead. Watts inbounds Miles to Funk. So Funk will start at the point for Dana Altman. Sons, Josh Jones, the great pick set by Watts out between the circles. Now almost a steal, and it is a steal. Miles got his pocket pick to start the conference season. Cheney up, no good. Richards over the back on Isaac Miles. That was good defense right there by Nate. He got back in the hole, little two-on-one, made him take a, a five-foot jumper, end up getting a foul on a rebound. Now full-court pressure shown by the Bears. They're going to crank it up a little bit and show 94 feet. They inbound Funk. Spencer Lorry on Nate Funk. The junior on the senior Funk, left-handed dribble across the timeline, finds Porter, high wing, left side, far side. Ahern on him, Bears in a man-to-man -man defense. Tolliver sets the screen. Down inside, Porter in traffic, shot blocked by Richards from behind. One and done, Chase. Lori up, Palou. Help make it Cheney. Sets up in front of Dana Altman on the bench. Now they go top of the key. Richards up, Ahern. Guarded by Miles. Runs it through a solid screen. Ahern now sets up top of the key. Got inside. Pass deflected by Nick Porter. Quick hands in the passing lane. I like the matchup with putting Isaac Miles on Blake Ahern. Put a more athletic guard on him. Make him work to get open looks. I like that matchup. Spencer Lori to inbound for the Bears. 23 on the shot clock. Lobs it inbound to Palou. Funk up on him. Now out, Ahern. And the Jays goes home. Jays go quickly to his zone. They're going to change it up on Barry Henson and his Bears. Ballou on a dribble. Porter on him now up there on the far wing. Laurie on the move. Through traffic. Kicks out. Chaney with a three. It looks good, and it is not. Dane Watts with his first board of the game. Up Funk. Center of the floor across the timeline. Nate Funk waiting for the game to come to him. Goes down baseline. Door shut by Chaney. Entry pass. Tolliver. Left block. Got inside his Watts. Ball knocked away from behind, and it will go off of Ballou. Blue Jay basketball. It's a good look by Anthony right there. Dane made a great cut to the basket. Just put the ball on the floor. Yeah. He probably shouldn't have brought it down to his waist. Probably should have just went straight up with it. Funk to inbound. Inline play for the Jays on the inbound from Funk. Looking to get it in. Deep inbound Miles. Between the circles right of center now. Works the left-handed dribble to the center. Bounce past Funk. High wing. Missouri State goes to his own go to 2-3. 15 on the shot clock. Funk fires the ball. High wing left side. Porter back Funk. Near wing Miles. Miles with a dribble ball deflected. Ahern steal. Isaac Miles, lazy pass. He'll find out. You can't get away with that. In you're the not, gonna go, not in the conference play. You're not, not against this experienced group of players. Two turnovers on the freshman already. It's four zip pairs. Cheney shadows Funk in a front court. Bears go back to man to man. Funk picks up his dribble denied, and now there's Tolliver down inside, and a foul going to be called on Devin Mitchell in the ball game, coming off the bench. The 6'5 junior out of where? Kick a high. 17-41 remaining first half. Miles out. Bah 
in. Nick Baugh. Missouri State goes to a small line of two. Devin Mitchell's playing the five now for him. He's only 6'5". Yep. Baugh looks to get it in. Deep inbound. Watts out Funk. Quick lineup. Funk between the circles. Calls out the offensive play. Fires the ball far wing. Baugh. Bears in a zone again. Now Porter working against the zone. The Bears are going to make the Blue Jays hit a couple of jumpers from beyond the arc. There's Funk. Door shut. Watts baseline. Top of the key. Baugh. Far wing. Porter hasn't hit one all year. And he finally knocks down his first three of the year. That's a great look by Nick Baugh to get Nick Porter that open shot. They dared him to shoot it and he knocked it down. Jays on the board. It's 4-3 Bears. Ballou up in the front court. Puts the ball inside. Jump stop. Out. Spencer Lurie's going to fire a three and it's no good. Deep rebound out. Ba. Ba. Lead pass Porter. Porter finds. Good Watts up and down. Oh. And thread the needle on the pass. And the Jays need to do that today. they got to get some points in transition. Good look by Nick Porter. They take the lead now. 5-4. Steven Mitchell between the circles. Up Spencer Lurie. High wing near side. Left side. Lurie works the ball now between the circles. Out Ballou. Top of the key. Nathan Ballou up there. He will hit threes on you. He's four for seven. Lori now. Jays stay in that zone. Lori out Ballou. Out Cheney near the timeline. 13 on the shot clock. Jays up 5-4. Three and a half minutes gone here at home. Cheney looking for Ballou. High wing. He's on Funk. Runs it through a screen. Ball stripped away by Porter. Quick hands. Steal by the Blue Jays. Up in the front court is Funk. Head up. Nate Funk. 18-foot jumper in rhythm. In, out. No good. Into the hands of Ballou. One and done. It was a good shot by Great Nate. Great shot. Just went in Ballou, the bounce pass inside. Cheney got inside. The defense bears retake the lead. 6-5. And you can't give up those easy points because that's going to kill you later on in the game. Got to get it back in transition. D. Bob in the front court working on. Lori finds Funk. Far wing. Trying to swipe away and wipe away Tyler Cheney. Now Funk with a right-handed dribble. Going to center it up. Moving right. Tolliver sets the screen. Funk probing down inside. Door shut. Ballou. Tolliver trying to post up. He's inside on Ballou. Hard foul. No foul. Wow. Ballou looks like he got armed, but Tolliver got his own like miss. It was a great high-low look from Nick Ball down to Tolliver. Tolliver got his own miss and put it up and down. Back in. Cheney up on the high wing at 7-6. Jays. Now Devin Mitchell. 19-6 out. Back Spencer Lorry. Guarded by Funk. Takes him left. Funk moves his feet well. Ahern long. Three on the way off the iron. No good. Porter with a rebound. They had a hand in Ahern's face. Ahern's just kind of checking the... That's kick. what you got to do. You got to get a hand up on him every time. I think he was... That was a heat check for Ahern. Well, not only that, but he shot that from 25, 26 feet. Ba now. Far wing. Jays up 7-6. Skip pass Porter, top of the key entry pass Tolliver again. He's going to be huge. Tolliver shot on the way. It's good. Up and over Ballou, and there's nothing he can do about he that. He got double team right there. That's just a good play by Anthony. Tolliver can own the paint today if he can get that ball inside and especially him. if they go small, too. That's going to be huge. Lori with the ball, working from far side to near side. Finds Ballou, looking for Ahern. He's being denied right now. My watch, there's a baseline jumper on the way. In, out, no good. Funk had it. Knocked off him. It'll be bare basketball. Time out on the floor. A fast-moving first 5-19. It's 14-39 remaining in the first half. Jays up 9-6. It'll be fair basketball when we come back on Big Sports 590. You want a great family restaurant, don't you? Lansky's now has three great family restaurants for you. Lansky's will keep the whole family happy and full with their fabulous menu, featuring the area's best pizza, pasta, and Philly steaks. With locations in Omaha, Council Bluffs, and now in Bellevue, you'll be smiling on both sides of the river. You can't go wrong with the food or the value. Remember Lansky's for pizza, pasta, and Philly seven days a week, lunch and dinner. So go Jays and go to Lansky's. Tom? Bob? So, what'd you do last night? Oh, you know, downloaded a song. Hmm, what else? Just downloaded that song. No dinner plans? Nope. Downloading. Didn't watch TV? Nope. Go to the park? Nope. Walk the dog, work out, read a book? Mm -mm. Tom is still stuck on dial-up, which means he's wasting too much time waiting on a slow internet connection. He has yet to experience the freedom of up to 25 times faster high-speed internet from Quest, and it's starting to show. If you're still stuck on dial-up, it's time to get unstuck. Switch to Quest high-speed internet today. It's broadband that doesn't cost much more than dial-up. It's easy to install, and you'll love the speed and efficiency of high-speed. Call Quest today at 1-866-679-EASY. Click Quest.com or visit any Quest store. Get a great deal and get more speed into your life with Quest high-speed internet. That's our spirit of service. Did you call your mom? No. Jazzercise? Anything? Service is not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Call or visit Quest.com for more information. Blue Jays basketball here on Sports 590 is brought to you by Jerry Ryan Clothing and Sportswear. 
Jerry Ryan Clothing and Sportswear, your Midtown headquarters for Blue Jay Apparel. Also by Security National Bank, Security National Bank, serving the community we can call home. And by the, Cr the Crescent Moon Al or Ale House at 36th and Farnham, offering free shuttle service to and from the Quest Center for all Blue Jay games. 14-39 remaining first half. Jays up 9-6. Bear is going to get the basketball after a miss, but Nate Funk came flying in and just couldn't corral that rebound. We had two guys going after the basketball. I think either one of them didn't know yeah. to go grab it, so they yep. just let it go. But... All right, on the floor now, you got uh, Dale Lamberth, a 6'5 junior. He saw time last year. He averages eight points and two rebounds. Very handsome when he pulls guys off the bench. They still average eight. Seven, eight, nine points. Well, this is a high-scoring team, and Lambert can shoot the three, too. He's one of their better three-point shooters at 40%. 44% to be 44%. Exact. You bet. All right. And we got a foul down inside. Tolliver working on Drew Richardson. Richardson, uh, Tolliver getting the better of that battle. Looks like Richards tried to, you know, use his hands a little bit to get position. Luckily, the official called it. It may be one of those kind of games today where they call that kind of stuff. 13 foul on the Bears. Now, Pierce Hibman in the ball game as well. Reese Ninsu seeing his first action, the 6-5-er out of Cameroon. Hibma, of course, 6-4. Used to be 6-5, now he's 6-4 <laughs> out of Fella, he, Iowa. He struck over the last The year. junior. <laughs> Funk working down inside, lost the ball, got it back, got to have help in Hibna, who knows the offense well. He's been in this system three years, now he finds Ninsu. Ninsu has got to step up and play with more confidence. He's got to give him something on Skip the Skip past on the Tolliver on the elbow. Hands off, Hipma. Going in here. Pierce Hipma lays it up and down. That's a high percentage shot for a guy coming in off the bench. And he needs to hit those kind of shots because he's been struggling from the field. And a foul called on the Blue Jays. That might be on Mitsu, a reach in on the sideline, far sideline. So it'll be bare basketball. And the Jays go zone again. Yep. So Mitchell inbound Spencer Lorry, the junior. Kicks up Ballou, near wing again. Jay's in the zone, up Devin Mitchell. Tolliver working down inside. Lori looking for somebody. Skip pass. Lambert over to Shane Lori, the sophomore, from his brother Spencer. 12 on the shot clock. Lori through a screen. Back out, great D, down inside. Shot on the way is blocked by Tolliver, and Ninsu flies in for the board. One and done, Bears, great deep of the Jays in the zone. Funk inside, lays it up and down with a left hand. Has he just... And that's, and that's a great play by Nate Funk, just go and guard him. Strong move through traffic. Crowd on their feet. Up, Lori, looking inside, he's going to try a three. That is way off. Up, Hibba. Bounce pass, Funk. Jays up 13-6. Lead pass, Ninsu, back paw. Long skip pass, Hibma up, down, Hibma up and down. Oh, yeah. Pump fake, pump fake. Oh, he got two shot fakes in him. Both guys went up and tried to block it. Great play by Brees Bensu and Nick Ball right there to get that easy bucket. Hibma off the bench with four points. A couple of bunnies, and he knocked them both down. And the Jays up to a 15-6 lead. Crowd loving it there on their feet. Barry Henson calls a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Jimmy, let's look at the numbers real quick. Blue Jays right now, 7 of 10 from the field. Look at the Missouri State Bears. Okay. Just 2 of 10. The, the difference is Creighton is shooting high percentage shots. They're getting layups. They're getting wide open layups. Missouri State's selling for outside shots. 0 for 4 from the three-point line right now. Creighton's only taking 1-3, and they hit that 1-3. Nick Porter here's first three of the year. You talked about winning the battle of the boards, Jimmy. Look at the numbers. 7-4 Jays with a three-board advantage that's, early and on. that's got to continue. they got to keep crashing the boards. they got to go after loose balls because that's the way they're going to win today. Points in the paint. Blue Jays, 12. Missouri State, 4. Not Off to a good start. Now the key for the Blue Jays, though, is to sustain this momentum, sustain this intensity that they've got. And that's they a, got the Bears on their heels right they now. They do, and that's been a problem for Creighton all year. They haven't been able to throw that knockout blow early in the game. This is an opportunity right here against in, the, in this part of the game. I'm going early on. All right, on four for the Blue Jays. You got Bob, Miles, Hibma, Watts, and Gaku now. So the Blue Jays got to find a way to both score and play D with this lineup on the floor. Gaku has got to know what he's doing out there. Ahern down inside, ball shot up and good. See right away. And that's a good you play. You got got absolutely you got inside on the Blue Jays when Tolliver was on the floor. Not happening. Ba's gonna try a three hard off the iron, no good. Runs down his own miss. Followed his shot. Now Watts to hit the near wing. Jays up 15-8. 12:35 remaining in this game. Lambert trailing Hibma through screen after screen. Hibma down inside, kicks out Watts, skip past Ba. Gaku not posting up right now, but he's trying to set screen. Up on the elbow, Gaku, big screen. Miles, jumper off the iron, no good. And Gaku comes flying in for a rebound. 
Oh, we got a foul down inside. Uh, it's going to be on Manny, I believe. Yep. You got, that's a good foul, though, T. Scott, because he's going to the offensive class. Coach will take that foul. And he's got just as much right to that ball as the next guy. Yeah. Not honestly. He was the only one going to the glass right there. There were five maroon jerseys standing and watching. You can't fault the effort right there. On no, no, no. Absolutely not. Dana Altman angry with the official for his whip blowing the whistle. 15-8. Jays up. 12-15 remaining. First half. Cheney across to Ahern. Ahern 0 for 1 so far. Mitchell to Cheney to Ahern. Blue Jays go back to that zone. Ahern up Lambert, back up Cheney, hit up on him. Sky Frazier in the ball game now, working on Watts and Gaku down inside. There's Cheney far wing, foul down inside. Uh, Three seconds called on Kyle Roush, the 6'8 sophomore. Turnover, time out of the floor. 11.56 remaining first half. Jays up 15-8 over the Bears of Missouri State. This is Blue Jay basketball on Big Sports 590. 100 years of amazing athletic moments. Brought to you by the Missouri Valley Conference. From national championships to continued national recognition, the Valley is proud to celebrate its centennial season. The Chargers are going to the Sweet 16. Vote for your all-time centennial team now at mbc100.org. Sweet 16, baby. 100 years strong. The Missouri Valley Conference. Service in the Marriott tradition. That's what you'll find at the Omaha Downtown Courtyard by Marriott. This fully restored historic building offers its guests 181 spacious rooms, suites, and spas. An indoor pool, whirlpool, and exercise room with a breakfast buffet, dinner, cocktails, and room service available daily. Call today and ask about the special Creighton weekend rate based on availability. The Omaha Downtown Courtyard by Marriott, 101 South 10th. Call 346-2200 today. When it comes to Creighton basketball and Plaza Pontiac Buick GMC, they both dominate on the inside. America's largest indoor auto plaza has over 160 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs all inside. It might be cold outside, but inside it's hot. Now back to the game. Jays look for the inside shot because inside is always better. Plaza Pontiac Buick GMC, America's largest indoor auto plaza, 120th and L, Omaha. Convenient, comfortable, competitive. Blue Jay Basketball and Big Sports 590 is brought to you by PayFlex. Provide medical costs, just pay flex and you can save 25%. Ask your employer or check it out at mypayflex.com. PayFlex, delivering on the promise. 11.56 remaining first half. Jay's up 15-8. Well, the bench came in. Here's Hibma, Nick Baugh, Reese Ninsu. They've come in early on, Jimmy, and given the Blue Jays a little bit of a lift. We said that in the pregame show. The bench was going to have to play a big role in today's game, and so far, Pierce him off the bench, four points. Manny Gak, who's been a present in the middle, and Nick Boss came in and done some good things offensively, moving the ball. So that's got to that's continue, but different remember, rotation. it's a different rotation, and, that, and that's something they haven't had all year. Tolliver getting a blow. Gak, who's still on the floor, but now Miles Funk. Porter coming back in to join Watts. So that different rotation, the only one out of there out of the, is, is going to be Manny Gaku. He's going to have to give some minutes here. He's going to be working against Kyle Roush. Both of them 6'8", but Gaku obviously 6'8 and a load. Watts looks to get it in and denied by Devin Mitchell, the long 6'5", junior, the forward. Now we're seeing some full court pressure now from Missouri State. Absolutely trying to switch it up. They look to get it in, finally get it in Funk. Funk's got it now. The Bears will back off, whether it'll be a half-court man-to-man or a zone. It looks man-to-man -to, -man to start. Funk across the timeline to Porter. Porter works through a Gaku screen, working on Roush. They post up Manny left side. Manny inside, hook shot is good! Gaku gets the roll! And that's a mismatch down low, because <laughs> Manny's had some big-time position on him. All Gaku's got to do is lower his base and stick his butt into exactly. him. He's got to move him anywhere he wants. Down inside now, Cheney working, they get inside to Mitchell, little floater is good. Steven Mitchell got down inside the free throw line in the heart of the Blue Jay defense, that was way too easy. They trade buckets, 17-10, Watson front court, high wing right side, Porter. Porter working on Lambert. Works it through a solid screen set by Watts. Top of the key, bounce pass inside off of a bear. They were looking to go Gaku, and that was a tough pass was, by Porter. He would have been John Elway right there to thread that pass in there. Nathan Ballou. Ballou back in, and Roush out for the Bears. Officials rule the ball. 
and they change the call. So Barry Hansen lobbying the officials, and they change the call and say it's Bear basketball. 11:06 remaining first half. Jays up 17-10. Ahern in backcourt. Over to Cheney. Looking at a half-court trap. Now the Jays will back off in a half-court. Man to man. Nope, they stay zone. Ahern near wing. Bounce pass. Mitchell near wing. Back Cheney. Strong side now. Weak side to Ahern. Looking inside. One dribble. They go Mitchell baseline. Mitchell inside the defense. Back Mitchell baseline. Back out. Isaac Miles oh. intercepts. Ballou up, down. No good. Tipped around. Ballou rebound again. Ballou got to kick it out. Ahern open. 23 footer is good. And that's the look you can't give him. He's and that's find the second him. chance. That's, that's what it'll do to you. And second chance points will tell you, and especially if Blake Ahern is wide open. He's going to knock that down. 17 13. Jay is up. Miles to Funk. And all that started with Ballou, but a great steal by Miles. But Ballou got it back, right place, right time. Again, you can't fault the effort. Miles on the move. Ahern shadowing him. Miles trying to take him baseline. Nothing doing. Fires the ball to Porter. Porter. High wing again with 12. They're looking into Gaku. He's calling for it. Bounce pass. Gaku right block. Gaku. Strong move inside. And one. No. Oh. What? They're going to say oh. he's on the ground. <laughs> Sam Banks again. He was going. He was all the way up there when he called the foul. And we go and we go back to one of the first calls of the game. Nate Lou didn't get the shot off, and he was shooting two shots. Gaku out, Tolliver in, and Manny Gaku gave quality minutes that time. And he's going to have to give quality minutes later on in this game because with that three-man rotation in the, in the front court, that's that's got to be key. All right, Funk to inbound, right side after a bad call, but Porter right there. I mean, he literally almost handed it to him, and Porter got away and, and put it up and down. That's a heads-up play by Nate Funk. Air jumper in the rhythm. No good, and a foul down inside on the Bears, and the Blue Jays are crashing the boards. They're Blue play. Jays ball. This is as physical as I've seen them play in a long time. In the last two or three games, I mean, the, the, the Hawaii tournament was beneficial for this team. They just need to play. And it looks like that's, you know, they're starting to turn around a little bit. Yeah, they were always two, three games behind everybody else. Yeah. They only played They've only 10. played 10 games. A lot of these other teams have played 12, 13 games. Absolutely. 19, 13 Jays with the lead. 9.45 remaining first half. Funk working on Shaney. Working him through screen after screen. Watts far wing. Three on the way. And Nate Watts on an open look. Assist to Nate Funk. Great play Ahern, Nate great right acting there. job as Miles got a little hand on him, and Ahern, one of the better actors oh, in the league. He deserves an Oscar, there's well, no question. Well, as he gets more frustrated, <laughs> he gets a better acting job. But there's Tyler Cheney showing you why. Missouri State shooting 41% as a team from beyond the arc, knocks down a three, and they trade threes. It's 22-16 Jays, 9-15 and counting in first half. Funk picks up his dribble. Now Tolliver up on the free throw line, working down in there against Roush. Miles on the move, back out Porter. Bears in a man-to-man -man now. Porter, dribble penetration, ball ripped out of his hands by Spencer Lorry. my goodness. Nick Porter gotta be stronger than that, skip pass. Cheney just hit one three, not this time. Tolliver rebound. Up Miles, right side. Miles in traffic, lead pass. Watts up, down, no good. Dane Watts can't finish. Tough shot right there by Dane though. Didn't gather himself yeah, at all. Just went too fast. Top of the key, three on the way, off the iron, no good. Funk, and a foul called on Dale Lambert. That will be, not only that, that was a Jays in the bonus. They don't have the team fouls up right now. Team sixth foul for the Bears. They took a pretty good shot right there, too. Yes, he did. Number 24, Reese Ninsu, and number 34, He stayed in the game. Ba, Ninsu, and Hibba now back in with Tolliver and Funk. Lori, Mitchell, Spencer Lori, along with Ahern, and L Roush in the game for Barry Henson. Hip up in a front court from Ba to Tolliver up on the elbow, sets the screen for Ba. Reverse pass, Hibma, looking inside, entry pass, Tolliver, right block, kicks out Ba. He's got an open look from the wing, hard off the iron, no oh good. Back good. of the iron. Great look there by Nick, though. Really good strong, 22-16, Jays with the lead. Laurie in traffic, taking Ba inside. Ba, double dribble, no, he traveled. Great defense by Ba to stay on his feet. Not only that, but he stayed in front of him, too. He didn't let him get to the middle of the paint. That was Spencer Laurie with a turnover. Turnover's now on the Bears at five, four for the Blue Jays. Jays dominating in the paints, 18 to six. There's Ba in the front court to Ninsu, working on Ahern. Ahern, a good defender as well, and now traveling with the basketball on Brees Ninsu. Time out of the floor, 7.54 remaining in this first half. 
and the Blue Jays up on Missouri State, 22 to 16. This is Blue Jay basketball on Big Sports 590. Just like Creighton Athletics, O'Daniel Honda is always looking for ways to improve. That's why we're expanding our showroom to offer you an even better Honda car buying experience. Stop in today and find out why it's oh so easy at O'Daniel Honda, a proud sponsor of Creighton Athletics, just south of 78th and Dodge. Call 1-800-MY-HONDA and make it oh so easy at O'Daniel Honda. In Play, Creighton's ultimate entertainment complex. Features over 120 of the latest arcade games. Plus favorites like billiards, miniature bowling, and prize redemption games for kids. In Play, a great place to have birthday, sport team, or club parties. Check out the new stadium grill and bar. With a full bar and restaurant to serve you. In Play, home to Forte. The premier place to host your wedding reception, banquet, or corporate event. With seating for up to 750. Call 991-7400. In Play, Creighton's ultimate entertainment complex. 1502 Cumming Street. In Play. Game on. Tough jobs demand tough equipment, like a Bobcat skid steer loader from Bobcat of Omaha. From the heavy work right down to the fussy stuff, there's a Bobcat loader for every job. Check out the new Bobcat models, many available with selectable joystick controls and all with operator-friendly, easy entry cabs. Bobcat of Omaha's service is great, too. Turnaround time is fast, downtime is minimal. So get yourself one tough animal, a Bobcat skid steer loader from Bobcat of Omaha at 895-6660. Blue Jay Basketball Big Sports 590 is brought to you by Gateway Collision Center. Gateway Collision Center is your answer for collision repair this season, and they're willing to work with any insurance company. Gateway Collision Center, 932-0500. 7.54 remaining first half. Jays up 22-16. to 16. Quick look at the stats. Blue Jays continue to shoot lights out with high percentage shots. 10 of 16, 62%. They are 2 for 4 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, Missouri State just 2 of 8 from 3-point land. And they're holding to 33% shooting so far. The Bears are 6 for 18. And, that, and as long as the Jays defensively can keep that up and keep hitting the boards, they're up 11 on the boards, that's a good formula to win a basketball game. Again, dominating in the paint at 16 to 8. Jays with five turnovers, Missouri State just four. It'll be Bear basketball coming out of the timeout. Ahern and the Lori brothers in there, Spencer and Shane, along with. Kyle Rausch and Devin Mitchell for the Jays. Ba, Funk, Minsu, Hibma, and Tolliver. Waiting on television here. Great crowd on hand. Got to be well over 15,000 this afternoon. Showed up to root on their Blue Jays. Mitchell with the ball in backcourt. Back over Lori. Back up Mitchell at the timeline. Working and looking through a trap. Lori to Lori. Spencer to Shane. Spencer, Lori with it. Over Shane. Back Spencer. High wing near side. Jays back in the zone. Inside the defense, and one. Steven Mitchell got way down inside, and Tolliver had no choice. Not only that, but that was a great pass from Spencer Laurie right there. Well, they're doing a nice job of getting right inside the heart of that zone defense. And now Mitchell will have a chance to finish a three-point play, old-fashioned style, and bring the Bears back to within three. It's 22-18. And Mitchell's been active inside, too. And only 6'5", Devin Mitchell, an 87% free throw shooter as a team. Missouri State, 70. Knocks that one down and converts the three-point play, and it's a three-point game. Jays haven't scored in a while. No. 22-19, 7.30 remaining. Half-court pressure. Hibman now back funk in a front court. Nate with a dribble between the circle. Jays to run a set play. Toller between the circle. Rather, funk to Ba. Back funk. Back Ninsu. Ninsu, one dribble, picks up his dribble. There's Ba in the defense. It's a zone defense. Now Ba looking inside, goes hit my baseline. Again, picks up a dribble. There's Ninsu, there's Tolliver off. 18-foot jumper on the way is good. And that's an all-conference shot and, right there. And, and he has the ability to hit that shot. 18-footer, knocked it down. Lori in a front court. Down inside, Tolliver with a steal on a pass. Intended in there for Roush. Great defensive play. Great play by Tolliver, 24-19. Jays back up. Every possession so critical here as Funk hands off Ba between the circles. There's Tolliver, high post, right elbow. Working on Roush. He can dominate him. There's a lead nice inside. Back. Oh, my. Up and down. Nate Funk from Anthony Tolliver. Great back cut by Nate right there. And not only that, but a great pass from Anthony. Right over the shoulder of the defender. He, he, he put it on the money. 26-19. Crowd steal. 
Folk, up far. There's Ninsu. Ram it home, Breeze. He lays it in. Blue Jays, a 6 0 run. And it's 28 19. Scott, the crowd's getting into it. The Quest Center, when it gets rocking, can be the biggest home court advantage in the Valley. With 16,000, Laurie Ahern wide open for the three, and he knocks it down again. Ninsu did not get over on Ahern quick, quick, quick enough. You can't step off him at all, T-Scott, I'm telling you. He will Never leave him. No. Never. The minute he gets off the bus, you get a hand in his face. <laughs> Funk between the circles, high wing, near side, Ninsu. Working on a bare zone, one dribble, nothing doing. Ba comes over for it. Now they go baseline, hit him back, Ba. Deflected out of bounds by the Bears. 5.42 remaining first half. Jays up 28-22 after that three ball from Ahern. Ahern right now, two for three from beyond the arc. A quick eight points. A lot of looks he's got. He's been open. Minsu out. Porter back. Well, yeah, those last two. The last two wide open. wide open. You can't step off them. Not even in the zone. You got to stay with them. Ball inbounds. Near side front court to Funk to Porter. Far wing. Bounce pass, Funk, three on the way. Nate Funk making it look easy. Three. That was in rhythm, too. 31-22, Jays. Over. Chaney, Ahern, baseline, three on the way, and out, no good. Funk rebound. That time, Ahern, lead pass, Hibma, up, down, up, and good. Pierce Hibma with six points on three layups. He's giving them a lot of energy off the bench today, and they need that. This Laurie team, at the free throw line. Inside, shot up and good. My goodness. Wow, tough shot. Dale Lambert, 6'5", just up and over and through the Blue Jay defense. 33-24, Porter across the timeline. Funk, bounce pass, Hibma. Bob baseline, door shut by the Bears zone. Back out, Hibma between the circles, back over Bob. Now he'll center it up. Picks up his dribble. Overhead pass to Porter. Back out, Bob. Looking inside, nothing doing. Bears Porter with 13 on the shot clock. Skip pass, Ba. 10 on the shot clock. 2-3 zone. Porter down inside. Bounce pass. Hibma up, down, and no good. Missed it. And knocked in and saved in by the Bears. Here's Hibma, weak shot down in there. Ahern through traffic. Bounce pass inside. Tolliver up, and they couldn't block it. And again, Lambert inside the heart of the defense. Dana Altman wants a timeout. 33-26 is Jays with the lead. 419 remaining first half. You've been in those huddles, Jimmy. You know, coach, you can have all the offense you want, but if when he sees breakdowns on defense, he doesn't like that. I guarantee you right now he's telling him, do not step off Blake Ahern. I'm, Ever he's again. Getting, never. You can let anybody else beat you in a bear uniform. You can live with that, but you cannot live with letting Blake Ahern. Trust me, I've been there for three years, and, he, and there's every time they've beat us, he's been a huge factor in the game. Absolutely. There have been several Blue Jay killers around the Valley over the years. Ahern the latest. I don't, I don't think nothing like this, though. Yeah, I mean, he just is unconscious. And, he, and by the way, it's not just the Jays that he picks on either. No, no. Here's a guy who's shooting 58% from beyond the arc. One of the reasons is Barry Hanson runs a lot of plays for number 15. And they set good screens for him, too. I bet they do. This is a veteran ball club, and they know how to get number 15 open. Here come the Jays. Miles back in the game. Along with Bob Funk, Watson, Tolliver. Jays up 33-26, 4.05 remaining first half. Jays working against that bear zone. Ba down inside to Watts. Watts with a flush. You didn't want to get in the way of that one. And, and Dale Lambert got <laughs> completely out of the way. Nate Funk with a steal. Funk is going in, lays it up and down in a hard foul by Devin Mitchell. But they're gonna make Funk earn it from the line and that's okay because the kid from Sioux City is the best free throw shooter in a Blue Jay uniform at 86%. And not only that, that was a heads up play right there by Nate. Great steal, Great laid steal. it up and down. He's going to the line when we come back. 35, 26, Jays biggest lead of the day at nine. Funk going to the line with 350 remaining in the first half. This is Blue Jay basketball, West Center style on Big Sports 590. T. Scott Maher here, voice of the Jays for Fernando's Cafe and Cantina. You know, we've traveled all over the country, eating at some great restaurants. I've never found better Mexican food than right here at home from Fernando's. They served up Sonoran style. It's made fresh daily. They're open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. My favorite, the Tacalada dinner. And I start with some jalapeno poppers. They got a little kick to them. Fernando's has got three locations, 114th Street south of Dodge, 75th and Pacific, and downtown Blair, Nebraska. And don't forget, they offer catering and banquet facilities as well. Fernando's Cafe and Cantina. Try it. You'll love it. We offer some of the region's most advanced cardiac care. We're widely recognized for our cancer research. 
We train some of the region's brightest and most sought-after doctors and nurses. We offer a broad range of minimally invasive surgeries. And there's one thing we do that no other medical institution in the world can. We proudly bear the Creighton name. Creighton University Medical Center. Talent. Teamwork. Commitment. Put them together, you have a formula for excellence. That's why at Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine, we've assembled a team of the most talented surgeons and support staff. All working together, all committed to one goal. To utilize the latest treatments and technologies that will provide our patients with the highest quality health care possible. Find out more. Go to OmahaOrthopedic.com. Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine. A practice of excellence since 1934. Coming up, the Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine Trivia Question. Blue Jay Basketball here on Big Sports 590. It's now time for the Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine Trivia Question. Today's question is, which one of the following players holds the school record for most rebounds in a single game? That's a real tough one. Yeah. Is it A, Bob Harstad, B, Benoit Benjamin, C, Paul Silas, or D, Ted Wubin? We'll give you the answer coming up in the second yes. half. If you don't know the answer, already. I think people. If this is an easy question for a Blue Jay fan, for a Blue Jay fan, it is. Yeah. Yes. All right, 3:50 remaining in this first half. Jay's up 35-26. Nate Funk is going to the line after a hard foul by Devin Mitchell that followed a steal by Nate Funk. The Blue Jays, Jimmy, have been active, hands in the passing lanes. They've been active on defense all day, and Dana Allman has been switching up and back and forth between that man and zone, but he's played prim uh, primarily zone today against this hot-shooting Missouri State team. Yeah, and one of the things we point out during the break, Creighton, on their 15 makes, 13 assists, we haven't seen that all year from this squad. Meanwhile, Missouri State, who leads the league in assists, they've got nine assists on, on 10, 10 makes. Shots. Yeah. And again, the Blue Jays got to get that uh, field goal percentage defense down as Funk misses the free throw. Just when I say Nate Funk, 30 of 35, misses the free throw. So now the foul by Mitchell looks good. Funk with a make and give the Jays their largest lead of the day and does. It's 10 points at 36-26. But the Jays now are allowing Missouri State to shoot better than 40% from the field. Blue Jays got to crank it up on defense. Cheney in backcourt, now in front court to Lambert. Back over Cheney. There's Ahern open again. They stepped off him, and he drains the three ball. Three of four, and the Blue Jays left him again. And you can't step off him, especially in the zone. you got to have someone with him the entire time. It's almost like you got to play a box and one. Almost. Or something. Essentially, yes. He's that good. Now Miles picks up his dribble, almost has the ball picked out of his pocket. Now Gaku high post to Ba. There's Miles running through a screen on Cheney. Miles with 15 on the shot clock, skip past Funk, he's going inside, kicks out Watts, baseline three on the way, barely drew iron, and Bear rebound, one and done chase. Here we go, here come the Bears after that Ahern three, and those threes by Ahern just get everybody excited. They do. And they put Down inside, more Mitchell fouled by Nate Funk. Steven Mitchell going back to the line. Dane, number five coming off the bench. Dane Watts right there got caught behind Steven Mitchell. Steven Mitchell left position went up. They had nothing to do but foul him. Can't give him the easy two. Ahern now leading all scorers with 11 points on three of five from beyond the arc, four of seven from the field. Meanwhile, Mitchell going to the line. He's got seven of his own. He is one for one from the free throw line, converted an old-fashioned three-point play a little bit earlier here in the half. This time, he knocks that down. No surprise. Again, Mitchell at 87%, just behind Ahern at 91%. 2.58 remaining, and just like that, that 10-point lead gone. It's now at six, and Mitchell can make it five. Just like that, the Bears can cut that in half on an Ahern three and two free throws. Mitchell's second free throw is good. Coming back in now, 25, Kyle Roush. 25, Kyle Roush checks in for number five, Devin Mitchell. And Mitchell out. Tolliver, Bob, Funk, Miles, and Watts on the floor for the Blue Jays. Shane Laurie, Tyler, Cheney, Dale, Lambert, Roush, and Ahern on the floor. Four Barry hints, and I don't think Ahern's come out yet. He's been out one time this game for about a minute. 36-31, Miles going baseline, out Ba, out Watts, 18-foot jumper is no good, weak off the iron again, and it'll be Blue Jay, now they'll say oh. it's Blue Jay, or Bear basketball. Out of bounds off of Creighton, Missouri State basketball. Nick Ba right there was almost too unselfish right there. He had an open look in the Wide corner, open. but passed it up for a better look. Yep, and that really wasn't a better look by Watts, really, I mean. No. Just inside the arc. Just missed it short. Second time in a row that Watts has missed it short. 
Ahern, entry pass, inside. Lambert, down inside, a cutting. Spencer Laurie, make it to uh, Shane Laurie. Way too easy, and we got a, a three-point game. 36-33, Blue Jays have gone cold offensively. And a foul down inside as Roush, a hand on the back of Tolliver, and Tolliver, I think, is going to shoot free throws. That, I believe, puts the Jays in the bonus, and it does. Yes. Missouri State's on a 7-0 run, too, here after that timeout. 221 remaining first half. Hibma up off the bench for the Blue Jays. Pierce Hibma going to check in for Dane Watts. He'll move to the four. Again, a small lineup on the floor for Dana Altman. To battle a small lineup by Barry Henson. It is. It's almost like a chess match right now. Henson's got a lot of tweeners, the guys that are 6'5", 6'6", out there. As Tolliver makes the front end of the one and one, that's huge. Blue Jays back on the board, 221 remaining first half, up 37-33. Tolliver, all-conference preseason selection at the center position. Knocks them both down here at home. Jays up 38-33. Made basket allows the Blue Jays to put on some full court pressure. They bounce it into Roush. Roush. Looking to get it to somebody and gets it into Cheney, the senior across the timeline. Beats him into the free throw line. Sets up on the far wing. Looking inside. Down inside. Now Lamberth comes out high wing. Back out Cheney. These guys have played together a long time. Now out Shane Laurie. Bunk up on him. And down inside. Jumper on the way is good. That is Dale Lamberth. Way too easy there. Lamberth shoots 53% from the field for the season, and that's one of the reasons why. And he's one of the better perimeter shooters in the conference, too. 38-35, Jays hanging on to a three-point lead with 148 remaining here. Funk down inside, Miles on the wing. That's a three ball, and he drops it down. Nothing but nylon, the freshman from Kansas City. And once again, Nate Funk set up that play. Ahern on the move, down inside, sticks a shoulder into Funk and gets away with a walk. Out Tyler Cheney. Ahern knows he got away with a walk. That's what, that's what happens when you're in the league for four years. Up Bob, through a screen, screen goes over it, back inside. Roush working on Tolliver, challenges off, weak side, rebound good. Nate Funk, head up, over to Miles. Miles down inside, nothing doing, there's Tolliver working inside. Bounce pass, entry pass, Funk, Tolliver up strong, ball stripped, but a foul again on a bear. Anthony Tolliver playing hard, going up strong. Not only that, though, but Nate Funk once again making plays for his teammates. Got to do it. Since he's played that point position, it's kind of giving the Jays a little different look. Even when Dosler came back, he led them in assist. Nate Funk trying to let the game come to him. That time, again, making it a point to get the ball inside to his big man, who we know has a decided advantage. Pound that ball inside to Tolliver. Oh, not only that, but Nate's one of the more unselfish players that's ever played in this program. He's kind of like a Ryan Sears type player. Teammates come first. Let the game Let come the game to him. Come the down. numbers come naturally. Tolliver knocked that free throw down. Jays back up 42-35. And what a great inside-out combination it is from Tolliver to Funk. Because when you post and repost, you may get the ball back from Tolliver in a great position with your shoulder squared to shoot the three. But not only that, you'll get a better shot, too. All right, Tolliver knocked them both down. Now Anthony, three for three from the line. It's 43-35, 107 remaining first half. Lamberth in backcourt up Cheney. Jays back off in the 2-3 zone. Gonna run A through Ahorn, Ahern through some screens as Cheney on the move. Through a screen, sets up far wing. Jump shot on the way is good. That's Tyler Cheney, just a little 10 footer. That was a tough shot though. Hand in his face, good D. Nothing you can do about that. Ba walks the ball to the timeline. Across the timeline into front court, fires the ball to Porter up on the high wing, the far side. One dribble, two dribbles. Back over Ba, looking inside Tolliver, who's triple team back Ba. Skip pass Hipma. They recover in this zone defense with 17 on the shot clock. Jays reset. Hit him up back Porter. Tolliver at the free throw line. Back Miles with 11, with 10. Miles with 8, with 7 through the Tolliver screen. Miles turns the corner. Miles inside. And a foul, and Isaac Miles will shoot free throws. Might have got a break that time. I think we did. I think the Jays got a big time break right there. Good, good move by Isaac Miles, though. Turn the corner right there. He's strong. strong enough to do it. And when you go strong, you're going to get that foul. That uh, foul, I think, was called on Shady, the senior, who couldn't believe it. Isaac Miles going to the line. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. The freshman at 79%, 15 to 19, coming into today. 13.9 seconds remaining. Blue Jays held off a bare run here to go on a little mini run of their own, and Miles knocks down that free throw. It was a two-shot foul. Tolliver out. Gaku back in, so Anthony didn't pick up a cheap foul. So it's Miles and Porter, Ba, Gaku, and Hibma. 
Lori and Ahern, and you know they're going to be looking for number 15. Oh, I guarantee he's going to come off a couple screens here and try to get an open look. He can break your heart at the buzzer like nobody in the league. Miles in, out, no good. Lamberth rebound, up Lori. Lori on the move, beats Bot of the spot. Back out Ahern with five, with four. Ahern fading away, off the iron, no good. Run down by Ba at the buzzer. 20 minutes of basketball in the books, and the Blue Jays take a 44-37 lead into the locker room as they open conference play against the Missouri State Bears. We'll take a break, come back. Security National Bank Halftime Show follows this on Big Sports 590. Flying a flag to show your pride is the American way. Well, Blue Jay fans, this season, show your true blue support for Omaha's team, the Creighton Blue Jays, by flying your Jays flag on game days. Pick up a new Jays flag today at Lawler's Custom Sportswear in the West Roads and Oak View Malls, or at All Flags on 85th and Cass, or the Creighton University Bookstore. This season, make game days special. Get those Creighton Blue Jay flags out and fly them high with pride for the Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Sam Amato. My wife, Ann, and I would like to invite you to Amato's Restaurant for breakfast or lunch. We're located on 64th and Center, across from the old Exarban Racetrack. At Amato's, it's like walking into your own kitchen. A few of our favorite meals have been created by our customers. The ricotta berry pancakes or the mistake omelet. You could only get these at Amato's. At Amato's, you can put your elbows on the table and laugh out loud. Stop by any day from 6.30 to 1 p.m. Focus. The Creighton Blue Jays have it. It makes them a great team. And it's focus that makes Greg Young Chevrolet a great team, too. Now at our new location on West Dodge in the Village Point Auto Plaza, we built a state-of-the-art dealership where everything we do is focused on you. Whether you're buying a car, getting one serviced, or in need of our collision repair team, at Greg Young, we provide you with a great experience right down to a delicious meal in the Corvette Cafe. Visit Greg Young Chevrolet in the Village Point Auto Plaza at 178th and Dodge. We'll leave basketball to the athletes and focus on making you the winner. And speaking of winners, go Blue Jays! Welcome to the Security National Bank Halftime Show before a packed house at Quest Center Omaha T. Scott Barr and former Blue Jay Jimmy Motes here with you this afternoon on this last Saturday of December and the Blue Jays, it's warm outside and it's been pretty warm inside the Quest Center for the Blue Jays, Jimmy, as they really took control of this game early. They're playing well offensively, but defensively for the first I would say 16 minutes or so of the first half. They really put the clamps on Missouri State. But as the half wore on, Missouri State heated up a little bit, ended up shooting about 48% uh, from the field for the half. You can't let teams continue to shoot 40, 45, 48% uh, against you and win a lot of ball games. So the Blue Jays are gonna have to refocus on defense in the locker room. Talk about just your perception of that first half. Well, I think the main thing in the first half is the, the Creighton making plays for each other. The guys, you know, they're being unselfish. They're passing up a shot for a better shot. Uh, we, I, don't, I haven't seen that in the first, you know, 10 games of the season. But I think overall the first half, I thought for the most part, they played harder than Missouri State did. I that last five, six minute stretch, though, Missouri State got after it, and they got themselves back in the game. And how do they do that when Blake Ahern and Blake starts Ahern, hitting threes? And Blake Ahern hit two big threes to yep. kind of negate those runs that Creighton had. Also, Jimmy, the bench. The bench came in. Pierce Hibba, Nick Ba, Manaru Gaku, Reese Ninsu. We've talked about the value of these guys in the conference season. They are going to have to step it up. In particular, Pierce Hibma, Reese Ninsu, Manny Gaku. Ba's been playing well off the bench. Porter's played well when he's come in off the bench. But Gaku, averaging only six minutes, he's going to get a lot more minutes than that now that Ty Morrison quit the team. And also, Pierce Hibma's just got to show up and really be the player that he was last year. Pierce Hibma started some games for the Blue Jays when they were shorthanded. He knows the offense. He knows the defense. He knows what Dana Altman expects. He can run this play, uh, this offense as well as anybody. He's been in the program three years. So the bench, I thought, really came in and gave the Jays some valuable minutes. Well, I think so the most, especially with Pierce, because Pierce yep. has been struggling as of late. Yeah. He comes in, he, hit, he gets six points on in the, the easy shot. In the flow of the offense. In yeah. the flow of the offense. He let the game come to him. Good things happen. He didn't jack up a bunch of threes. He got high percentage shots. And, you know, for the most part, Manny's been impressive here in the yes, first he half. Has. He's played hard. He's going, he's going after rebounds. That, they need that from yeah, him. Yeah, he actually he's left not, his feet a few yeah. times. 
And, you know, he's not going to guy that's going to come in and score 10 points just like that. He's got to play D. That's all they need from him. Yeah, and Brees has given him some good minutes, and Nick Baugh, for the most part, has given him really good minutes at the guard position. Well, it's almost like with your bench in this offense, with the players you've got to start the game, it's almost like a quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens back in their heyday. Just don't beat us. Just don't turn the ball over. Try to hold your own until we can get our starters back in and start scoring points again. So that's kind of what you're asking for the bench. And if you get points, it's like frosting on the cake. Well, that's exactly the point. Plus, the thing is, these guys are caught the bench. You can't force nothing. Not in this offense. Let it come to you. If, it, if a pass isn't there, don't throw it because you got 35 seconds to get a good shot. And for the most part, they've done a really good job, I think, for the most part, of getting good looks, especially when you're shooting the percentage of Creighton shot here in the first half. All right, we're going to take a break, come back. Jimmy Motes will go over the first half stats for us when we come back. 44-37, your score at halftime. Blue Jays over the Missouri State Bears. This is the Security National Bank Halftime Show on Big Sports 590. Security National Bank is your hometown bank, locally owned and managed with 13 full-service branches. Security National Bank offers a wide range of services to its customers, including checking and savings accounts, home and business loans, auto loans, and trust services. Always with competitive rates and design to meet your needs. A proud supporter of Creighton Blue Jay basketball, Security National Bank, serving the community we call home. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. To Beardmore. You can see all these cool new cars and check this out. Score a newer certified pre owned car or truck from Beardmore Chevrolet Subaru because more and more it's Beardmore. More and more vehicles to choose from. 16 acres full of new and certified pre owned Chevys and Subarus and all major makes and models of pre owned inventory. And you always get more with the Beardmore experience. Every vehicle on the lot clearly marked and priced to move. Beardmore, just five minutes south of I 80 on the Kennedy Freeway. More and more it's in the Missouri Valley, there's no better team than the Blue Jays. And when it comes to choosing the best popcorn to enjoy during the game, it's Orville Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher has become America's favorite gourmet popcorn. Years of research has resulted in popcorn that's lighter and fluffier than ordinary popcorn. Orville popcorn has zero trans fats and is a nutritious, great-tasting snack. Whether it's one of six microwave varieties, kernel, pre-popped, or popcorn cakes, there's only one choice for Blue Jay fans, Orville Redenbacher's, a Conagra Foods product. Dr. Bimbo Petro and Dr. Frank Odoricio have been practicing family dentistry together for 28 years. And now they've been joined by Dr. Vince Petro in their offices on the northwest corner of 144th and Dodge. Former players, Creighton alums, and proud sponsors of the Blue Jays, that's Drs. Bimbo and Vince Petro and Dr. Frank Odoricio. For appointments or more information, call 397-4505. That's 397-4505. And welcome back to the Security National Bank Halftime Show. We are at Quest Center, Omaha, T. Scott Marr, former Blue Jay Jimmy Motes. With your first half stats, my partner for today, Jimmy Motes. All right, the first half stats, Missouri State 14 at 29 from the field, shooting 48%. 4 of 12 from the three-point line at 33%, 5 of 5 from the free throw line. Uh, 12, 12 rebounds for the game, 12 assists, 7 turnovers for 37 points. The Jays, meanwhile, shooting 65% from the field at 17 to 26, 4 of 7 from the three-point line at 57%, 6 of 8 from the free throw line at 75. They're out rebounding at Missouri State 14 to 12. 15 assists on five turnovers, t Scott, I think has been the big stat of the game on 17 field goals for the Jays. Absolutely, 15 assists on 17 made field goals. A great point, Jimmy, and as well as the fact the Blue Jays inside the arc shooting a phenomenal percentage, too. You look at Missouri State, that four for 12 from beyond the arc. Three of those, no secret, Blake Ahern. Blake Ahern. He's the guy. I mean, he's got 11 points. He averages only 15 a game, so he's already well on his way to his season average. Something else to look at is the matchup between Nate Funk and Blake Ahern. Funk being asked to do more than Blake Ahern. Ahern, Barry Henson says, score points for me. Score points for me, that's all I want you to do. Ahern with zero boards, he doesn't worry about it. He is outside. Nate Funk today being asked to do pretty much everything by Dana Altman, and guess what? In his first He's getting half it line, done. in 18 minutes, eight points, five assists, three rebounds. Pretty good stat line for the first half. And no, no turnovers. No turnovers. That's, That's the big thing. There you go. Only five turnovers for Blue Jays. Seven for the Bears. A well-played first half by both teams, really. Well, for the most part, not a lot of turnovers. Guys making plays for each other. The pace of the game, though, I thought it would be in the 50s and 60s. We're on pace for a 
you know, an 80-point, 70-point effort from both schools. Well, and it reminds me of the game in Hawaii against the Houston Cougars because we talked about the fact that this was this high-scoring offense for Houston, that they would jack it up for any, anywhere on the floor. And in the end, the Blue Jays kind of beat them at their own game, beating them uh, and scoring 80 points. Blue Jays on pace to do that again today, and you would have thought that Dana Ullman would have said, look, we got to keep this game in the 50s, maybe 60, kind of keep it in our wheelhouse. Not so much today because, hey, at home, Blue Jays feel more comfortable shooting from beyond the arc. I mean, the Blue Jays right now with Dane Watts, one for two, Porter, Funk, Nate, Nick, Nick Porter, his first three of the year. That was huge. The only guy that is 0 for 2 is Nick Baugh, 0 for 2 from the And both those were good looks, they too, were missed good them looks. They will fall for Nick Baugh eventually. We're going to take another break, come back. Jays lead 44-37 here. It's the Security National Bank Halftime Show from Quest Center Omaha on Big Sports 590. Your starting lineup is complete with Classic Chevrolet Cadillac. We've changed our name from Tim O'Neill to Classic Chevrolet and now Cadillac. With everything under one roof and the same low prices, it's still only $13,495 for a full-sized American-made truck. New Cadillac started just under thirty dollars Plus, every customer gets free oil changes for three years. We're the largest GM dealer in Southwest Iowa. We're sure we'll have the Chevy or Cadillac you want at a price you'll love. Classic Chevrolet Cadillac. New name. Same great prices. Located in the heart of downtown Omaha, the Doubletree Downtown puts you within walking distance of everything downtown. The Doubletree Hotel also has something to offer that no other hotel in Omaha has. The newly built Executive Meeting Center on the 19th floor. This state-of-the-art facility offers the best meeting space in Omaha, combined with the best views of downtown Omaha. Read more about our Executive Meeting Center at Doubletree.com or call our sales office for a tour. Welcome back to Quest Center Omaha, everybody. Keith Scott Moore and Jimmy Motes here with you this afternoon. Jay's taking on Missouri State. We're going to take a break here during the Security National Bank Halftime Show to welcome yet another fine corporate sponsor to Blue Jay Basketball here on Big Sports 590. It's my pleasure to welcome the general manager of the Omaha Field Club, or Field Club of Omaha, I should say, Mark Campbell. Mark, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much. The relationship between the Field Club and Creighton University, longstanding, lots of alumni, uh, members. Uh, talk a little bit about that, Mark. Well, yeah, it is a very close relationship. Uh, we do have a lot of alumni at the club. Uh, in fact, one of our members of our board of directors is uh, Mike West, of course, uh, with the athletic department. And everybody's a big Creighton Blue Jay fan at the club, and uh, we think it's a great relationship that we have with Creighton. The field club, obviously one of the uh, most notable uh, courses in Omaha, been around a long time. Yes, uh, founded in 1898. It is actually the oldest private club west of the Mississippi, still on its original piece of land. And we're proud of that. And we're proud of the relationship we have with Omaha and, and the Midtown area and, and uh, being part of that. The great history of the field club uh, situated in the heart of Omaha. But talk about the fact that the field club hasn't rested on its laurels. You guys are constantly looking at ways to improve the field club. Absolutely. We've, uh, we had a new building we built in the 1990s. We're constantly reinvesting in the property, trying to improve the golf course. It, it is on a limited piece of geography located right in Midtown, but we're trying to make it better and better every year, and that's our goal. Talk a little bit about, about the, uh, the relationship between the field club and, and Creighton University. Obviously, the alumni and all that, but still, two uh, really landmarks, if you will, in Omaha. Both of these uh, entities uh, began back in the 1800s. Exactly, and, and the relationship goes beyond just the members. We actually, uh, part of the membership package at the Field Club of Omaha is actually the ability to use the Keywood Fitness Center. We've crafted a relationship with the university there. And, of course, we've, we've got uh, uh, plenty of uh, faculty and administration that are members at the club, and it just continues to uh, develop that relationship more and more. And with all the things going on in Midtown, and downtown Omaha, we'd like to be a part of that. And I know Creighton is a, a big part of the revival of downtown Omaha. Before I let you go, Mark, what's on the horizon in 07 for the field club? Well, as I mentioned before, we've got a few projects we're going to do on the golf course to improve playing conditions. Uh, we've got a new uh, a green seating process that's going to um, upgrade the greens and the, the condition of those, as well as uh, a number of projects around the clubhouse. And, and we're looking forward to uh, taking care of our current members and attracting a few more new members this spring. 
That was my next question and final question, Mark. For those uh, out there listening, if they'd be interested in looking into joining the field club, how would they go about that? They contact myself, Mark Campbell, or Phil Palmer, our golf professional, or our number is 345-6343. 345-6343. All right. Thank you, Mark, general manager of the field club. Great to have you with us today. Thanks very much. All right, that'll do that. We're going to take a break, come back, uh, continue halftime here. Security National Bank halftime show continues from West Center Omaha after this on Big Sports 590. You always get a great deal at Old Mill Toyota. All we do is discount Toyotas at Old Mill every day. Right now, you can get Old Mill's holiday protection plan for only $299. That includes rust proofing, paint sealant, interior protection, and silent guard, all for the low, low Old Mill price of just $299. That's a $1,200 value for just $299. And if you think this price is low, just wait till you see the prices on our selection of great Toyotas. Stop in today. Get a great deal from a dealer that always goes the extra mile. And check out OldMillToyota.com, putting the power to save right at your fingertips 24 hours a day. Just go online and check out Old Mill's entire inventory. Make it a December to remember with Old Mill's Holiday Protection Plan that includes rust proofing, paint sealant, interior protection, and silent guard, all for the low, low Old Mill price of just $299. That's a $1,200 value for just $299. Don't settle for a good deal. Get a great deal at Old Mill Toyota. All we do is discount Toyotas at Old Mill every day. All right. Start, ready to start the second half. He's got March. Jimmy Moats with you. Blue Jays. Up 44-37, a well-played first half, but again, you know the numbers eventually catch up to you. The Blue Jays will not be able to continue shooting 65% from the field, 57% from beyond the arc. The things they can control will be the rebounds, turnovers, and field goal percentage defense. They have got to keep Missouri State from shooting 48% in the second and half. I'm sure at, at halftime, that was a point of emphasis with Coach Altman, especially in the huddle, you know, when they get at uh, halftime. Those adjustments that they make, they can't let Blake Ahern get open looks. You can't guys have guys like Tyler Chaney and Dale Everett get open looks. Those guys are very good shooters. Blue Jays get the ball to start the second half. Porter to inbound, near side midcourt. Funk goes into backcourt for it, and now Nate will work a right-handed dribble up against Tyler Chaney. Across the timeline, high wing, far side, Miles swiping away, Lori centers it back up, Funk. Tolliver sets the screen. Funk goes near wing up Miles. There's an entry pass to Tolliver. Tolliver is double team. Kicks out Funk. One dribble. Bounce pass Porter. Good recovery by the Bears. Porter back out Tolliver on the elbow. Back out Miles. Plenty of time on the shot clock at 10. Now Watts to Funk. Working Lambert with eight, with seven. There's another screen. Nate Funk shot on the way. It's good. Nate wow. Funk fading to his left off the screen. Nails the three ball. That was a tough shot that he just hit. 47-37 equals the largest lead of the day for the Blue Jays. Down inside. That ball knocked away from Drew Richards. Back down inside. Shot up and down and way too easy for Nathan Ballou inside. My goodness. He just never stopped. Porter working on Ahern. One thing about Ahern, he's one of the better defenders in the league. He too. is. He'll steal the ball from you. There's down inside his watch. That ball knocked away by Ballou. Watts was looking for position inside. Ballou just a little quicker. Knock that pass away. Blue Jay basketball, left side of their own hoop. Miles, the freshman, looks to get it in. Does get it in. Oh. Down inside, shot, and one. No, Tolliver couldn't get it to go, but Tolliver's going to shoot free throws. And what set that play up is Nate Funk came off an Anthony Tolliver screen. Drew Richards jumped up to help on Nate. Gave Anthony a wide-open look. Great, well-designed inbound play. It was. So Tolliver goes back to the line. Tolliver on the day is 4-for-4 four four from the free throw line. 64% from the field. That's under his career percentage. Tolliver's got to get the numbers up from the free throw line. The senior, that one is good. Devin Mitchell up quickly off the bench for Drew Richards. Richards is just not a good matchup for Anthony Tolliver. No, and he only played too two slow. minutes in the first half. Yep, he's just too slow. He started the game, but it just didn't play a lot of minutes. So Mitchell back in, even though he's 6'5", he's an athletic 6'5", he's strong, he's quick. He and Ballou. Tolliver's two free throws are good. He is perfect for the line today, and the Jays back up 10. Spitzer Laurie over Ballou. Up inside Cheney. Door shut by Funk. Jays in a man to man. No, make it a zone. And there's a steal. Ball on the floor. Bears have got it. Knocked away by the Jays. Active defense for the Blue Jays. Nearly got another turnover. Instead, it'll be Bear basketball under their own hoop. Cheney to inbound. Left side into the Bear bucket. Jays up 49 39, just underway. Second half. Watch for A here coming off the screen here. 
Ahern is right in the middle now. He's going to back way out top of the key and they get it out to him from Mitchell. Far side, Shane Laurie looking inside. There's Ballou right in the heart of the defense again. There's Ahern, wide open, Funk challenges Ahern. All he's got to do is get a look at it, then close his eyes. He is automatic. You got to know where he is in the zone. He's four or five from beyond the arc. Jay's now up 49-42. Miles to Watts, beyond the arc. Watts inside, Watts down, nothing doing. Tolliver tries to save it and it can't. Bears on the run, Bears with numbers. Mitchell loses the ball and turns it over. Steven Mitchell took his eye off that ball. Otherwise, it's a slam dunk. He was shooting it before he got it. So the Jays catch a break there. That's a big break. <laughs> and again, Watts going up, trying to draw the foul, but you gotta go up stronger than that. 49-42, two minutes gone. Miles, shadowed by Laurie, brings him up into front court to freshman. Laurie all over him, picks up his dribble. Tolliver tries to save it and does. Out Funk, Miles just a little careless. That's a freshman for you. Funk on the move against Laurie again. Gives up high wing near side Porter, guarded by Ahern, back over Funk. There's Tolliver at the high post. Over to Funk. Shot fake, shot on the way. That was a foul, either that or he, Porter inside and one. Now that is vintage Dick Porter in the Missouri Valley Conference. He is just too strong for a lot of the guards in the Valley. He is, and he's just a, he's a big physical guard. And right there, you just saw his strength right there. Got fouled, was able to finish the play. He's going to the line to shoot one. That was much needed by the Blue Jays, it too, was, coming back. Because every time it seems like the Jays want to run, number 15 in Maroon comes down and sticks the three. Porter going to the line. Nick Porter having a good year from the free throw line, 28 to 34, 82%. This is his first trip to the free throw line today as a team. The Blue Jays, 8 of 10 from the free throw line so far. Porter knocks it down. It's a flat shot, but it's right of the money. 52-42. Again, the Jays keeping the Bears at arm's length with a 10-point lead. Laurie up into Ballou. Ballou, left side. Got away with a walk. There was Laurie, and now a hand check by Funk. So Nate Funk picks up his second personal foul. First team foul of the second half. The thing is, the Jays aren't really in foul trouble for the most part. They only no. have six fouls for the game. Mitchell out Ahern. Funk comes out on him. Ahern on the wing. Now they go high post. Ballou over Shane Laurie to Spencer Laurie. Pump fake, nothing doing. You got to honor these guys. There's Ahern. Watts comes out on him. Ahern dribble penetrates. Down inside. Gets the ball back. Again, Nick Porter. Let, Nick Porter gave up. He stole he the ball, up, but then gave, gave up, up on, on it. on the play, and Ahern got a second opportunity at it. There's Tolliver. Triple team. Down inside is Porter. Watts loses it. Porter gets it back. Plenty of time. Porter inside, and a foul on the ground on the Bears. Ahern now with 16 points. Nobody else in double figures for the Bears. Now Lambert in the game for Mitchell. Ba in the game with Porter and Watts and Tolliver and Funk. Blue Jay basketball, fresh 35. Ba looks to get it in. Nothing doing. Deep inbound Porter between the circles right of center. Looks like the Bears may go back to their zone, and they do. Ba to Porter to Ba, near wing Watts. Tolliver's on the baseline. Skip pass. Ba, and they throw it out of bounds. Nick, Anthony Tolliver just got a little too much on that one. Ba needed to be 6'6 instead of 6'3. Turnover Blue Jays. Reese Ninsu in. Nick Porter out. Pierce Hibma in. Dane Watts out. 16-45 remaining in this game, and the Bears with the ball. Jays up 8, 52-44. Lori inbounds, far side, backcourt to Tyler Chaney, who walks the ball to the timeline, now picks up to a trot, Ba up on him. They're in a man-to-man -man defense. Funk got inside, way too easy, but a miss. And now Ballou runs it down. And a foul on the Blue Jays. This guy's going to be on Pierce. Number Nathan Ballou is a good basketball player. He just plays hard. Yep, he, he does. He goes after rebounds. He gets on the floor. He does the little things to help this team. Started all 11 games, averages 19 points, and there again is Ahern wide open and knocks it down. Blake Ahern now 5 of 8 from beyond the arc, and he now has 19 points on the day. He will single-handedly beat you. And he keeps him in the game. Pa up on the near wing. Ba over Tolliver. Ballou out on him. That's a good matchup. Ballou is strong enough and quick enough to hang with him. Ba near wing, Ninsu. Ahern on him. 
Now kicks back out Funk with 15 on the shot clock. Man-to-man -man defense, Nate Funk, and a blocking foul on Nathan Ballou. Didn't like it, but it's a good call. It seems like every time today that the Jays have stretched out to like an 8, 10 point lead, Blake Ahern has answered the bell every time. Every time. Lead back to five, now he cut it in half. Ball will inbound, far side front court, 16 minutes remaining. Ball game, they get it into Funk. He is guarded by Spencer Lorry. Make it Shane Lorry now. Now again, they're denying Funk. Down inside, Nate Funk, no call. Funk inside, ball denied by Ahern. Out of bounds oh. off Tolliver. Turnover, Blue Jays. 15-50 remaining in the game, and it'll be Bear basketball when we come back. Jays lead 52-47. This is Blue Jay basketball on Big Sports 590. Hi, Gene Steffi for Gene Steffi's Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Fremont. Looking for a new or used vehicle? You are invited to shop Gene Steffi's. We offer you friendly sales, certified service people, prices that will make you smile, and a large selection of new and used vehicles. Our goal is to earn your business. We're the people you can count on. Visit us or shop us at our friendly internet site, www.gsteffi.com. And as a Creighton alum, go Jays! It's Jerry Ryan's 33rd anniversary sale at 78th and Dodge. Save 15 to 30% on suits, sport coats, trousers, and outerwear. It's our biggest pre-Christmas sale ever. You've still got the service you deserve along with free gift wrapping and front door parking. Also register to win four tickets in row two to a future Creighton Blue Jay basketball game. Dan, Paul, Bob, and John are ready to help you during Jerry Ryan Clothing and Sportswear's 33rd anniversary sale. At Jerry Ryan's, we bring Talent, teamwork, commitment. Put them together, you have a formula for excellence. That's why at Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine, we've assembled a team of the most talented surgeons and support staff, all working together, all committed to one goal, to utilize the latest treatments and technologies that will provide our patients with the highest quality health care possible. Find out more. Go to omahaorthopedic.com. Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine, a practice of excellence since 1934. Coming up, the answer to our Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine trivia question. Blue Jay basketball here on Big Sports 590. Here's the answer to our trivia question. Which of the following players holds a school record for most rebounds in a single game? The answer is Paul Silas. Sponsored by the Omaha Orthopedic Clinic and Sports Medicine, a practice of excellence since 1934. All right, Bears have the ball coming out on this timeout. 15-50 remaining in this ball game. Jays 52-47. They led by seven at the half. So you kind of take this media timeout by media timeout. So far, the Jays got outscored by two during this first media timeout. By the way, we've got a, an announced crowd. Well, we'll save that. We'll, we'll save, save that it. for, we got, a, we got a good sponsor that helps us with that. We'll save that for the post game. I'll just tell you that it's the third largest crowd in the history of the state of Nebraska to watch a basketball game. How's that? Give you some idea how many people came out today. It's a great crowd, a lot of blue. Lot and you know, blue. Jimmy, you know this as well as anyone. Josh Dosley, you gotta feel so bad for this guy. He dreams of being a Blue Jay, commits as a sophomore, gets in, Gets injured in a freak accident last year and misses the last seven games. Just starts getting back to game shape and then breaks his finger. He's just caught a couple bad breaks, yep. but you know, he'll bounce back through it as quickly as possible, I'm sure. All right. Ahern being guarded by Ninsu up on the high wing. Now, Laurie looking inside, and again, Richards' ball is challenged by Tolliver, who got a piece of it. Now, buys tied up, or is it a reach in? It's a jump ball that'll oh, be jump. bare basketball. Jump ball, Missouri State will maintain possession. So the Jays got to do it again. They worked and played good D. Now they got to do it again. Tyler Cheney to inbound for the Bears, left side under their hoop. Richards got down inside of Tolliver, but he contested the shot, and Richards had missed it. Ba got the rebound. Now a deep inbound to Richards up between the circles. He gives off Laurie up Cheney between the circles. Minsu is shadowing Ahern. Interesting matchup there. Yes, it is. Now Laurie comes up for the ball, high wing near side. Up Richards, over Cheney. Ba out on him. There is Lambert, bounce pass. Laurie, let's see if he can hit the three, and he does. That's a great play by Dale Lambert. Shane Laurie, a 15% three-point shooter at 4 at 26 coming in. That ain't a good sign. <laughs> we got a two-point game. Blue Jays got to get some offense and play better D. There's Tolliver at the high post. 
Lead pass to Ba on the wing, and he's going inside. Door shut by Richards. Bounce pass out Hibma over Ninsu, out Funk. Tolliver's on the high post. Now Ninsu again runs through a solid screen. Ninsu, door shut. Bounce pass stolen away. Out of bounds. Reese Ninsu again looking for Funk. Weak pass. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Cheney about stole that. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Blue Jays now looking for some offense. Now Watts back, Miles back, Ninsu and Hibma out. Steven Mitchell back in. Returning for Missouri State. Lamberth out Steven for the Mitchell. Bears. Jays have seen a seven point lead, cut down to two. Ba gets it in Funk. Shouted by Cheney, who's doing a little talking with five. Ba, make it Funk. Out Watts. He will rise up for a three, and that's hard off the iron. And that is run down by the Bears. Ahern on the run. Ahern down inside. And what? A foul on the ground. Ahern going to try to say this was in the act. No shot. I don't think they're going to call a goaltend then, uh, there either. He's better be not. He's begging for a goaltend. I know. He's a smart player. He's been around. Now they're gonna, now he's begging for free throws. I think they're going to give him free throws. And you know, when he gets to the free throw line, he's, he's automatic. One of the best free throw shooters ever to play college basketball, Blake Ahern. This year, down a little bit at just 91%. And yeah, they're going to give him a shoot, uh, two shot foul. Now Funk's got three personals on him. No, two. Who think? Yeah, three fouls on Funk. And Ahern automatic from the line. And we got to, Ahern can tie this up from the free throw line. Just like that, the Jays have seen a seven point lead evaporate. We talked about the fact that now Missouri State shooting 53% from the field. Not only that, they're on a 9-0 run here. Could be 10-0. Ahern, both of them. It's a 10-0 run. 10-0 run. We're tied at 52. Now the Jays have got to get back into this game. Take control. Miles dribbles it off his own foot and turns it over. Not exactly what you wanted to see there. Cheney the up in a front court. Lori looking inside. Back out Cheney. Skip past Richards. Top of the key. Back over Lori. Just did a three from the same spot. Goes center of the floor to Richards. Tolliver playing D. Richards looking inside. Richards hook shot is good. And now the Bears on a 12-0 run, and they take the lead, 54-52. It's their first lead since about the 17-minute mark. And Dana Alban wants a timeout, and we'll join him. The Blue Jays now trail Missouri State here at home, 54-52. They have seen a seven-point lead evaporate in the second half. 13.53 remaining in the game. This is Blue Jay basketball on Big Sports 590. 100 years of amazing athletic moments. Brought to you by the Missouri Valley Conference. From national championships to continued national recognition, the Valley is proud to celebrate its centennial season. The Chargers are going to the Sweet 16. Vote for your all-time centennial team now at mbc100.org. Sweet 16, baby. 100 years strong. The Missouri Valley Conference. Service in the Marriott tradition. That's what you'll find at the Omaha Downtown Courtyard by Marriott. This fully restored historic building offers its guests 181 spacious rooms, suites, and spas. An indoor pool, whirlpool, and exercise room with a breakfast buffet, dinner, cocktails, and room service available daily. Call today and ask about the special Creighton weekend rate based on availability. The Omaha Downtown Courtyard by Marriott, 101 South 10th. Call 346-2200 today. A winning game plan is based on sound strategy and a strong bench. So put PayFlex systems on your team. With the PayFlex Cobra Assist program, PayFlex will take care of all your Cobra and HIPAA requirements and let you concentrate on growing your business. And PayFlex assumes full responsibility for all your compliance obligations. Cobra Assist from PayFlex. Now that's a sound strategy and a winning game plan. PayFlex, delivering on the promise. Blue Jay basketball and Big Sports 590 is brought to you by American National Bank. American National Bank, where American dreams come true. Also by Fernando's Cafe and Cantina. Sorian style Mexican food made fresh seven days a week. And by State Farm Insurance. State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For all your insurance needs, call Ron Niederhaus at 333-5104. Jay Bergmeier at 895-7500. Jim Sullivan at 333-1127. And John Bergmeier at 339-3555. Right now, the Blue Jays in a war, and they know it. Dana Ullman called the timeout. His Jays now 
saw a seven-point halftime lead evaporate in a hurry in the first six minutes of the second half. It's 54-52 Bears. They are lights out in the second half. Six of eight from the field. Three for three from beyond the arc. Two for two from the free throw line. And the Blue Jays now in this second half have turned the ball over already four times in the first six minutes. And they've only gotten five shots up. So you, you turn the ball over, you don't get those shots. Blue Jays bench being outscored 20 to 10. And Missouri State has scored 16 points off of Blue Jay turnovers. Bada inbound, near side, front court, does to Funk, who's got it being guarded by Shane Lowry. Up Ba, high post Watts, back Tolliver, double team. Ba turns down an open look for a moment, and a foul, that's a hold on Drew Richards. Again, Richards really struggling against Tolliver. He won't last long. <laughs> How many fouls is that on Richards? Fourth foul, he's out. The the thing, back. And the other thing T. Scott right now is Blake Ahert is out of the game. The Jays have to take advantage of this. Miles to inbound, left side. Under the Blue Jay hoop. Miles got to get in, does get it in Funk. Funk on the move. Shaking and baking, down inside, hands off Tolliver. And the ball is stuck between the rim and the backboard. And luckily the Blue Jays get the possession arrow. He couldn't have placed it any better. No, right that there. baby is jammed right in there. Tolliver was going up. Now Miles to do it again, gets it in Watts. Watts working a ball, pass deflected, weak pass. Laurie on a steal, Laurie up, down, and good. The sophomore, Shane Laurie, picking the pocket of the junior Watts after a weak pass, and it's a four-point game, 56-52 Bears. And there's a hand check, you betcha, on Tyler Chaney. You get a lead, you get a little cocky on defense. Number three, Tyler Cheney, his second. Not only that, Second though, personal on Cheney, team six. The Bears are on a 14 to nothing run Incredible. here. Incredible. But again, the numbers will catch up to you. And it all started with the Blake Ahern three. Bears are 75% from the field this half. There is Tolliver. They've got to pass the ball around again and again. A steal. The Blue Jays look out of sync, and there's no reason for it. Missouri State is good defensively. They're not that good. They're looking on the block. Palou working on Tolliver. Palou kicks out. Lori working to Lamberth, posting up Watts. Kick out. Lori hands off Cheney. 15 on the shot clock. Bears up four in the driver's seat. 12.40 remaining in this ball game. Kick out Lori again. Shane Lori, entry pass Palou. And a push on Tolliver with five with six on the shot clock. And that will be three on Tolliver, I believe. Just two on Tolliver. Two. Porter up off the bench. That's a tough break. You guard for 30 seconds, you get called for a foul. That means you have to guard another 35, possibly. Yep. Spencer Lorry looks to get it in. Fresh 35 for the Bears. They lead 56-52. And Blake Ahern's back in the game. Yep. So the Bears... And there's an easy inbound Ballou up over Watts. And the Jays' defense right there just wasn't ready to play. Nope. Now Funk, and the Jays down six. And a hole down inside again on the Bears. And I believe that will send the Jays to the line of the bonus. Number two, Dale Lambert, his second personal. Yes. Seven, seven team foul to the Bears. The Blue Jays in the bonus now, and they need it. Down six. They can't score from the field right now. Watts has got to hit some free throws. Dane Watts on the season at 66%. Misses that one, but Porter's got the rebound. Kicks out Tolliver. Out Funk. Denied a good look, so he'll kick it and bring it back out. High post, near side, Miles. Miles looking for Watts, now kicks back out Funk. There's Tolliver on the elbow. Tolliver going in to Funk. Up, down, and good. Nice pass. Great pass, great look from Tolliver to Funk. Lori fighting through traffic, finds Ahern up on the wing, Ahern on the dribble, down inside to Ballou, out of bounds, turnover Bears. Again, the Blue Jay is going to have to get back into this with defense. Down four, 58-54. Big possession right here, T. Scott. Got to get some points out of this and then stop the Bears from scoring again. Funk hands off, there's Tolliver high post. Tolliver looked inside, Miles was wide open, nothing doing now. Tolliver finds a bounce pass, Funk, right block. Nate Funk will rise up with a jumper too hard, kept alive by the Bears. Funk had the look he wanted, just put a little too much on it. Ballou inside, up and down. Oh, good position right there. Absolutely got inside of Porter. 
60-54, Bears answer, six-point cushion. 11-27 remaining in the ballgame. Funk, high wing near side. Miles sweeping away Lori. Skip past Tolliver on the elbow. Tolliver inside at 6-8. Wild shot, no good. Watts rebound. Watts up, no good. Watts rebound. Ball stolen away, out Funk. Down inside Tolliver. Skip past Porter. He hit 1-3 today. Air ball. Wow, oh, that man. was way off. Here come the Bears. Cheney inside. Lamberth in on Porter. Up, down, no good. Contested by Tolliver. Watts with a rebound. Up Funk. Jays trail by six. They got to get points here. Nate Funk on the move. Ballou down inside. Nate Funk lays it up good, and down. Good strength right there by Nate to take it all the way to the basket. Challenge Ballou, and Ballou didn't respond. 10.40 remaining in the game. Crowd going to get on their feet. These people want to see a defensive stop. Laurie out Ballou. Jays in a zone. Cheney. Missouri State coming in. One of the best scoring teams in the Valley. Best margin of victory. And they go out. Lambert to Cheney on the far wing with 10 on the shot clock. Down the block is Ballou facing up. There is Aheron with a three on the way off the iron. No good, but you got to let him. And Miles, nobody goes for the rebound. Long board by Missouri State. Miles call for a foul. That was Lambert with the rebound. We got a timeout on the floor. 10-14 remaining in this ball game. And the Chays trail the Bears 56-60. to It'll be Bear basketball when we come back on Big Sports 590. The new era of Creighton University has begun with the ability to excel, the wisdom to innovate, a commitment to values, the willingness to serve, and the faith to believe. One of the finest Jesuit Catholic universities in the United States. We are Creighton University, willing to lead. See for yourself at creighton.edu. You've got style. Now, get the drive at Markle, Omaha's only certified dealership for new BMW, Jaguar, and Land Rover vehicles. The one place where luxury, style, and sophistication meet superior customer service. Markle, proud supporter of Creighton men's basketball. Visit Markle's Ultimate Automotive Campus, 102nd and Dodge at the West Roads, 393-9700. Boxes or briefs? Hmm. I say boxes. Oh, hey there. Izzy and me were just debating what Billy Blue Jay wore underneath all them feathers. Anyway, I digress. DJ's Dugout is a proud sponsor of Creighton Athletics, so be sure to join me and Izzy before or after the Creighton game. And if the Jays just happen to be on a road, DJ's will carry the games if possible by satellite or webcast. Try DJ's Dugout at 114th and Dodge and 25th and Cornhusker Road in Bellevue. Dig in at the Dugout. And don't forget, go Jays! Blue Jay Basketball and Big Sports 590 is brought to you by Dex. From sports bars to sports cars, you know where to find it. Dex knows the Dex Yellow Pages is one of the directory that always knows the score. 60-56, to 56, Bears with a lead here in Omaha. 10-14 remaining in this conference opener for both teams. Bears come in at 10-2. I should say for the Jays, Missouri State already 1-0 in conference play. Blue Jays at 6-4. For the most part, they need this game today, in all reality, get off to a good start in the league. Oh, absolutely. I mean, these these the, you, two home games, this stretch this weekend. You have got to go 2-0 and here. You hope for a split on the road, maybe. I mean, that's just kind of the way it works. Blue Jays are really, rather, the Missouri State already defeating Indiana State in Springfield 80-60 to uh, back on the 16th of this month, the middle of the month. So the Blue Jays are going to have to get back into this with Deke. I mean, again, you don't want to, when you average 60 points a game and the opposition averages 76, you don't want to get into a scoring match. You want to no, play you your don't. game on your home floor. That means defense will be the tone for the Blue Jays. And Missouri State's dictated the tempo the entire second half. Yes, they have. It's been the tale of two halves so far. All right, Ahern to inbound for the Bears after a fresh 35 on a miss by Ahern, but an offensive board. Now Ahern threw a screen, got away with a little bit of a bop there. Back out Lori for the Bears. Ten minutes remaining now. Bears perfectly satisfied to be very patient on offense with a four-point lead. Lori over Ballou, down inside. He's 15 feet out, and he knocks it down. That was a good move by Ballou. Absolutely. 
Now they'll try to deny Funk. Lori going to trail him. Jay's back down six. Under 10 minutes remaining. Funk in a front court. Working on Lori. Finds Ba high wing. Who will take the shot for the Blue Jays? There is a lob inside. Tolliver up, down in the jam. Anthony Tolliver. Strong finish. There's not much you can say to that. And the crowd starting to get to their feet. Laurie out to front court to Mitchell. This is when Ahern really becomes key for the Bears. You cannot let him take an open look. And the Jays go zone again. Watch Blaher, or Ahern. He's going to come off some screens. Porter shadowing him up on the near wing with 9.08 remaining in the game and 12 on the shot clock. Bounce pass inside was kicked out of bounds, and it'll be Blue Jay basketball. Stephen Mitchell trying to convince the official that Tolliver got a piece of it. Official not buying it. Blue Jay basketball. Well, that possession right there, Nick Porter did a great job on Blake Hayhurn being physical with them, not letting them get a touch. Blue Jays inbound. Ba working against Lori. Works the ball near the timeline and across. Ba and a moving screen on Hipma. Turnover, Blue Jays. That is turnover number 12 on the Blue Jays. That's the seventh here in the second half. 8.56 remaining in the game. Jays trying to get back into this one. Bears, though, now up four again, 62-58. Jays in a zone. The Lori brothers playing catch. Spencer goes top of the key. Ballou bounce pass. Ahern through a screen. Tolliver challenges. Ahern misses. Porter runs it down. Porter on the run, lead pass Funk, sets up, three on the way, Nate Funk, air ball, run down Ba, inside Porter, Tolliver up and a foul on Devin Mitchell. Nate just rushed that shot a little bit, but Nick Porter going after that rebound, big player right there. Tolliver's got to hit his throws, he is perfect for the day, six for six. Jays as a team, nine for 12 from the free throw line this afternoon. And the big thing is, we're, the Jays are in the bonus right now with eight minutes to go in the game, so that's big. Both teams actually in the bonus. Tolliver at the line. This is a shooting foul, I believe. No, it is. Tolliver misses the free throw. Lamberth in, Mitchell out. Gaku in. Hipma out. Watts will come in for Tolliver if he should make this. Miles and Ba along with Porter out there for Dana Altman. Ahern, Spencer Lowry, Shane Lowry, Dale Lamberth and Nathan Ballou in for Barry Henson and Tolliver makes that one. He's out, watches in. Three-point game. Jays have got to get a stop. 8.27 remaining in this ball game. Tyler Cheney, the senior, inbounds to Nathan Ballou, the senior. Cheney up. Spencer Laurie, the junior, at the timeline. Laurie up in the front court to Ballou, hands off Cheney. Jays in a zone. You can't lose sight. You got to know where 15 is. Well, he's not on the floor. He's not right on the floor. Good the thing. <laughs> down inside, Lamberth up and down and inside the Blue Jay defense. Dale Lamberth from three feet. Not going to miss those very often. It's back to a five point game. Porter. Up on the wing, working on Gaku, who's got a screen right there. Now skip past Ba. There's Watts on the baseline, shadowed by Ballou. Again, who will score for the Jays in this lineup? Porter, back out Watts. Hands off Porter again. Between the circles, Nick Porter with 12 on the shot clock. Down inside, and Nick Porter dribbles it off his foot. Turnover Blue Jay. That's, that's good defense right there by Tyler Chaney. Time out of the floor, 7.33 remaining in the game, and the Bears take a five-point lead into the final 7.33. It's 64-59 Missouri State. This is Blue Jay basketball on Big Sports 590. Tom? Bob? So, what'd you do last night? Oh, you know, downloaded a song. Hmm, what else? Just downloaded that song. No dinner plans? Nope. Downloading. Didn't watch TV? Nope. Go to the park? Nope. Walk the dog, work out, read a book? Mm -mm. Tom is still stuck on dial-up, which means he's wasting too much time waiting on a slow internet connection. He has yet to experience the freedom of up to 25 times faster high-speed internet from Quest, and it's starting to show. If you're still stuck on dial-up, it's time to get unstuck. Switch to Quest high-speed internet today. It's broadband that doesn't cost much more than dial-up. It's easy to install, and you'll love the speed and efficiency of high-speed. Call Quest today at 1-866-679-EASY. Click Quest.com or visit any Quest store. 
get a great deal and get more speed into your life with Quest High Speed Internet. That's our spirit of service. Did you call your mom? No. Jazzercise? Anything? Service is not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Call or visit Quest.com for more information. You work hard. You put in long hours. Now, finally, the business you built from scratch is on solid ground. The future looks great, but can you say the same about your office furniture? Hi, this is Coach Dane Alt. Shepherd's Business Interiors can help you create a professional work environment. Shepherd's provides office furniture that meets all budgets with quick delivery, expert space planning, and reconfiguration services. Go see them on 72nd Street across from the Mart or online at sbi-omaha.com. Shepherd's Business Interiors, for your future. basketball here on Big Sports 590 is sponsored by Anthony's, Anthony's Restaurant, Omaha's finest and friendliest restaurant, and by Jerry Ryan, Jerry Ryan Clothing and Sportswear. Jerry Ryan Clothing and Sportswear, your Midtown headquarters for Blue Jay Apparel. 7.33 remaining in the game. Blue Jays trail the Bears 64-59. This crowd of some 15,600, pretty quiet right now, but they're going to try to help out the Blue Jays here coming out of this timeout because the only way the Jays are going to win this basketball game is with defense. You know, we talk about, we go back to the first one, the second half. Missouri State's outscored the Jays here in the last 10 minutes, 22 to 7. And that's been a big part because Blake Ahers has some big shots. But not only that, Missouri State's getting really good looks at the basket. They are shooting 69% from the field in the second half. What are the Blue Jays shooting? 35. It's like no it, secret as to how you're going to win a it's game. A, it's a tale of two halves right now. All right. The Jays have spotted the Bears five points and the ball to begin this half of uh, this seven minutes. It's a seven-minute basketball game, and you're spotting the opposition five in the ball, and here we go. Spencer Laurie across the timeline, left to center, goes high wing, left side. Lambert to Cheney. To Shane Laurie, to Lambert, eight inside. Lambert down inside. There is Ballou wide open off the glass and good. Nathan Ballou on the feed from Lambert. Good unselfish play by Lambert and Ballou hits another shot. Watts inbounds. Miles. Miles at the point working against Lori. Again, a weak pass by Miles. A turnover by Miles. He's really struggling today. He struggled in the game at, uh, yeah, against Hawaii as well. He has not prepared for the increased intensity of a championship game in a tournament nor a conference game. They hand off Lambert. Good D by Tolliver. Back out Cheney. 16 on the shot clock. Jays down 7. 66-59. Back out Lori. Ahern in the ball game now. Down inside. Tolliver with a steal. Great play by Anthony Tolliver. Miles with the ball again. Working on Lori. Lori's picked his pocket I think three times. Hands off Ba. Ahern on Ba. Funk frees himself up, will rise up for a three off the iron, no good. Kept alive by the Bears. Jays one and done. Spencer Laurie at the left of center in the front court, coming down to the six minute mark. Jays down seven, need to play some D. Laurie down inside. But Isaac Miles just got beat big time. Spencer Laurie. Well, the thing is, they're getting easy shots. Way down inside. Dana Altman wants a timeout. 5.54 remaining of the game. The Jays now trail 68.59 to the Missouri State Bears, and we'll keep it right here. Taking a look at the stats, Jimmy, and as you said, a tale of two halves. In that first half, the Blue Jays, though, early in the first half, the Jays were doing a good job at forcing Missouri State to take shots they didn't really want to take. As the half wore on, Missouri State was able to run their offense more and more. And in the second half, Missouri State has completely dictated the tempo of this game. And they have. You know, they start, you know, the first half, the first semester, they were shooting under 35% for the game. Right now, they're shooting 58%. They're shooting better than the Jays right now. Oh, absolutely. And, and right now, those last two years, they're over 70% the second half. And we said at halftime that the intensity and they had to keep playing hard. We haven't seen that from this Jays team in the second half. You have not, and right now they look kind of like they're sleepwalking. And, yeah, they're back on their heels right now. Yep. They're not being the aggressive. The first half they were going after loose balls, getting rebounds. We haven't seen that here in the second half. Blue Jays, 14 turnovers. Missouri State has cashed them in for 22 points. 22 points. And that's been the difference in the game. Meanwhile, again, we talked about the bench in the first half. Now the bench has been outscored 24 to 10. 
So the contributions that the Jays got early from Pierce Hibma, he had six points like that. Since then, he really hasn't he's, been a he's factor. Been, he's been non-existent. Dana Ullman comes out with Nick Porter, Nate Funk, Nick Bond, Dane Watson, Anthony Tolliver. Barry Hansen counters with Laurie and Lambert, Ballou and J.D. and Ahern. Ba out Watts to Porter, goes baseline. Porter, door shut, bounce pass, back out. Watts out Tolliver. Lambert on him, out Funk through a screen. Laurie up on him. Near wing, Ba covered by Ahern. There's Tolliver at the elbow. Sets the screen, no, nothing doing. Tolliver's got the ball on the floor, kicks out Ba. He has got to want it and does, and there's a whistle, there's but a whistle. nah. Ba knocks down the three. Of course, it won't count because we got to stop at the play, and Tolliver's going to shoot free throw. That's his third personal foul. So Tolliver going to the line where he's 7 of 8 today. Jays can score points with the clock stopped. 5.30 remaining in the game. Them down 9. It's 68-59, folks. Blue Jays unbeaten at home this year. Tolliver at the line. Went 1 for 2 his last trip down. This time, 1 and done. 1 and 1 situation. He misses it. It's like a turnover. Now, depending on what... The Bears can do. Spencer Lorry up. Lambert, Watts up on him. Gives off Cheney, who finds Lorry again. Funk on him. Jason a man-to-man defense. Lorry on the move. Goes down baseline. Entry pass. Lambert backing in on Watts. Faces up. Nothing doing. Got to kick it back out. Lorry. Missouri State looking very comfortable right now with six on the shot clock. Lorry through the screen. Denied by Tolliver. All the way through traffic. Jumper on the way. No good. Tolliver pulls down the miss. Up Funk right side. Nate Funk up in the front court. Wing by made a three with a whistle off, and now he can't make that one. And Cheney pulls down the miss. One and done, Jay. It's another good look by Nick. He just missed it long. There's nothing wrong with that. You missed sh shots long. 4.37 remaining in the game. Porter called for a foul. That will send Missouri State to the line. Up 68-59. Largest lead of the day. In the last, what, 12, 13 minutes, the Jays have scored seven points. Seven points. Credit Missouri State, they come in yeah. as one of the best defensive teams in the Valley. And it's like he said, they played good defense. It's been the tail of two halves. It's a veteran team, too. That's the other thing. Absolutely. They do not get rattled. They no. have seen these battles in the conference, and they know that you got to ratchet it up a notch or two when you hit conference play. Porter, with his second personal foul, is on the bench. Or, oh, I'm sorry, still out there, but that's his second personal by the way, the well, Bears in the bonus as well. Like For some reason, our scoreboard today doesn't have a running total of all the players and the numbers of team fouls. So just the fact that they're in the bonus now, Cheney knocks them both down. And it is a 11-point game with 437 left. So the Blue Jays are going to have to really reach deep down here, Jimmy, make some shots. And there's Porter at the free throw line. Lost the ball, got it back, finds Hibma. Looking into Tolliver, on the block. Working, lost the ball out of bounds. And gets a break from the official. Richards called for the foul, and he fouls out. So Richards not a lot of luck against Anthony Tolliver today. Didn't play very many minutes either. No, no. But Ballou comes back in, and he's been a lot more productive. Ballou comes in with 10 points, five boards, four assists. That's a pretty complete game for a 6-6 forward. Tolliver back at the line. Jay's got a score with the clock stopped at 421 remaining in the game. Jay's down 11. Tolliver knocks that one down. Tolliver now with 15 points. Four rebounds. Miles back in the game. Tolliver at the line. Ba, Miles, Porter, Hibma, and Tolliver. Makes both free throws. And the Jays are going to come to full court press here. Well, they got to do something. They got to do four, something. Four minutes left, 420 it, it left. It looks so lethargic. Here comes Laurie up in the front court. Jays have got to get active on defense. Miles all over. Laurie gives up Cheney. Porter out on him. Cheney down inside. Shot on the way is no good. That is contested and off of the Bears. Tolliver that time contested that shot. I mean, Porter got beat, but Tolliver helped out. That was a good contest by Anthony. He, he altered Tyler Chaney's shot right there. Offense for defense now. Hibma out, Funk in. 4.07 remaining in the game. Jays down nine. 
A lot of time left, but the Blue Jays have got to cash in on their end and play D. Funk, shadowed by Spencer Lorry. On the move, Funk, working on Lorry. Works him through a boss screen between the circles, finds Miles, guarded by Shane Lorry. Now Miles on the move. Miles, entry pass, Tolliver kicked out again, a weak pass by Miles, stolen by the Missouri State Bears. There's a lob inside, shot up, down, Tolliver with a block. Funk saves it. Miles has got it. Miles over Ba. Kick it back out. Funk will take a three and rhythm off the iron, no good. Porter keeps it alive and he's fouled and he will shoot free throws. He had a good look right there. Nate has had several good looks, as has Bob. Time out of the floor. 3.30 remaining in this ball game. The Jays will be shooting free throws when we come back. They trail Missouri State 70-61 here in Omaha. This is Blue Jay Basketball on Big Sports 590. Spacious rooms, a free cook-to-order breakfast, and a fantastic location across from the Orpheum Theater. That's the Reddick Plaza Hotel in downtown Omaha. Take a relaxing stroll through Omaha's historic old market and enjoy the elegant shops and unique restaurants just three blocks from the Reddick Plaza Hotel. Call 1-888-342-5339. The Reddick Plaza Hotel, Omaha's premier Art Deco hotel. The Players Club at Deer Creek offers one of the most unique and challenging championship golf courses in the region. Designed by Arnold Palmer with generous bent grass fairways, winding waterways, and sculptured bunkers, the Players Club is a golfer's dream. And becoming a member has never been easier, with no initiation fee and affordable monthly dues. For membership information and tee times, call 963-9950. 963-9950. The Players Club, just north of 120th and Military in Omaha. You've got style. Now, get the drive at Marco, Omaha's only certified dealership for new BMW, Jaguar, and Land Rover vehicles. The one place where luxury, style, and sophistication meet superior customer service. Marco, proud supporter of Creighton men's basketball. Visit Markle's Ultimate Automotive Campus, 102nd and Dodge at the West Roads, 393-9700. Blue Jay basketball here on Big Sports 590 is brought to you by Amato's Restaurant. And it's now time to take a look at the Amato's Restaurant three-point total. Right now, the Jays are shooting 38% from the three-point line, 5 and 13 from beyond the arc for a total of 15 points. The Jays' current three-point total is brought to you by Amato's Restaurant, 64th and Center. Amato's, old world flavor with new world taste. Jays one for six from beyond the arc in the second half. Yeah, four or seven the first half. And the thing is, Nick Boss has some good looks. Nate's has some good looks. They just haven't fallen. All right, Porter going to the line. He can score points with the clock off, which is what you want to do if you're wearing a Blue Jay uniform right now. A lot of time left, but you've got to make shots when you're on your end, and you got to... And defensive stops That's are critical right. right now. That's right. And Missouri State will do nothing but burn clock and then try to get one at the buzzer or get an offensive rebound. Nick Porter at the line. The senior out of Compton, California. Porter gets the home court roll. Porter now with nine points on the day. Five boards, three assists. Porter's second free throw coming up. That one is good. Now a seven-point game. Hipma in for defense. Porter out. Full court press by the Jays. Hipma on the inbound man, Chaney. Chaney looking to get it in, does get it in to Mitchell. Mitchell on the move. Like a travel. Yep, he shoveled his feet. Mitchell through the trap. Mitchell gives off. And what? A foul. I think I think we got like a timeout. Timeout. Timeout time will time keep it right here. 323 remaining in the game. Jays down seven, 70-63. It, it was right in front of us. It looked like Devin Mitchell travel. Shuffled his feet. Shuffled his feet. Ah, <laughs> you guys got away with that all the time. I did, because I didn't bring the ball up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right here. All right. Blue Jays trailing 70-63. 
Fair basketball, 29 on the shot clock, 3.23 remaining in the game. Both teams in a bonus, by the way. Funk and Miles. Bond, Hibma, and Tolliver. All right, so we're Against Lori and Mitchell and, and Ballou and Chaney and Ahern for the Bears. Audience. Bear basketball. Here side front, Gork, get it into Lori. Big possession right here defensively for the Jays. Got to hold up for 35 to get it off Lori. Hibmus trips, loses his footing. Now they go Chaney. Mitchell fighting with Tolliver inside. Two old teammates. Now Ballou going all the way inside and a foul on Anthony Tolliver. Nathan Ballou just saw an opening and couldn't resist. Here's him. I got caught really high there trying to deny and Ballou just went right to the basket. Probably would have an opportunity to take a charge right there. If anything. So Ballou goes to the line, an 84% free throw shooter. He's been there a lot, by the way. More than any other bear coming into the game. He was 40 of 49 today. A uh, Ballou is three, two for three. Misses that free throw. That's a big miss. Ballou at the line. Knocks that one down. Funk back in. Watts inbounds Funk. The clock is their enemy. Jay's got to get some decent looks at the basket. High percentage shots. Not just threes. A lot of time. Tolliver inside with a rush. That's high percentage. Nice play. That's real high percentage. Six point game. Cheney on the move. Watts gets caught in the dust. Cheney going to press the issue. Miles shuts the door. Back out, Lori. Cheney on the wing. 2.40 remaining. Cheney takes down inside. A foul. On the ground. Ba called for the foul. Cheney going to the line. 2.37 remaining in the game. 71-65, Bears. Creighton Collin, number 34. They got called for a hand check. Personal, the team ba. Tonight. First personal on Bob, by the way. Ninth team foul, so it's still the one and one. Cheney, 67% free throw shooter. That may be a good foul. 14 to 21 coming in. Got to get the rebound here. Cheney, the senior out of Neosho, Missouri. Free throw is no good. Tolliver kept it alive, and Funk's got it. We got a six point Great game. opportunity here. They got to convert. Funk down inside. And it's, oh my. It's a blocking foul called on Lori. And it looked like for a second he was going to call a charge. But I think he changed his mind. It was mind a the close last call. Minute. It was close. But Lori was moving his feet to the side, and Funk ran him over. If you're on the road, that's, that's probably a charge. Way. That's right. That's the deal. So now Funk going to line. He will shoot two. Jay's in the double bonus. 71-65, Jays down six, plenty of time. 2.29 remaining in this one. Nate Funk at the line, on the day. Nate Funk from the line is just one for two, but he knocks that down. Hibma back in, Watts out. Funk down with 15 points and five rebounds and six assists. We're seeing a chess match right now between both coaches or substitute offense for defense. Lamberth back in, Devin Mitchell out. Funk at the line. Nothing but nylon. Porter in. Ba out. Crowd of their feet with 2.29 remaining in the game. And the Jays down four. Got to get a stop right here. Ballou with the ball in three-quarter court. We'll bring it to the timeline. Tolliver comes out to meet him. Hands off Cheney. They double team. Now Ballou again. Cheney down inside. Tolliver shuts the door. They've got him trapped in the corner. Cheney kicks out Ballou. Up, down, no good. Porter kept it alive. Miles has got it. Up, Porter. Jay's ball, four-point game. Two minutes left. Don't need a three. But yeah. Hip is going to try one off the iron. No good. Ball wrapped up and a reach-in foul on Nick Porter. Well, Pierce Hipma, you did not need a three. I didn't think he was going to shoot that. The thing is, with two minutes to go in the game, down four, look to get a good shot. You don't need to hurry a three, because just go get to the back. You're in the double bonus. So if you attack the rim, chances are you might get fouled. Probably not the best shot in the world to take in that situation. Dale Lamberth going to the free throw line. Lamberth at 78%, 11 of 14 on the season. This is his first trip to the line today, Lamberth. Four-point game. Boy, an opportunity missed by the Blue Jays as they were down four with the ball. 
at the two minute mark and Lambert misses the free throw. So it's still a two possession lead no matter what. Watts back in, Ba back in, Hibman miles out. Thing is, there's plenty of time left. Oh, a lot no, of time. Don't need to hurry anything offensively. Lambert at the line. Junior at Oklahoma City. Knocks, no, misses that the one, boat. and Tolliver's got it. Tolliver gives up bump. Jays in the driver's seat. How big was that miss right there now? That was a big, big miss. So now the Jays have got to convert. Watts to Porter. On the baseline, inside, Good falls look. for the bunny. Got inside Missouri State's defense. We got a two-point game. Crowd got to get on their feet. Ballou in backcourt, back Cheney. Cheney going to take by. He knows he's faster than he is. Now they're out near the timeline with Spencer Laurie with the ball. Back out Ballou. 125 remaining in the game. Two-point game, 71-69. Laurie with the ball. Porter on him. Jays on a man-to-man -man defense. Laurie on the timeline. Moving forward now. Through the screen. Watts shows. Laurie bounce past Ballou. Ballou outside. Cheney with a three. This would be a dagger. It's off the mark. And they try to save it, and they Eight. save it into Porter. No rush. Porter back. Bump. Jays can tie it with a two. Bounce pass. Watts. He's going for a three. Oh, he got it! And the Blue Jays retake the lead. 72-71, but they got to play D. Under a minute remaining. The Jays have come back. Cheney in the front court. Jays stay in the man-to-man. -man. Cheney going to take Watts inside. And a foul on Watts. I think no timeout. Timeout, timeout. Paul Bears. 43 seconds left. We'll keep it what right here. What a big shot by Dane Watts. Dane Watts with a three from the near side wing on the feed from Funk. Never hesitated. He didn't. He stepped. The thing is, he was in rhythm. He stepped, he planted, he shot it. It's a great shot by Dane. That comeback by the Blue Jays, they were down what, Jimmy? Oh, they were, what? Was it nine? It was nine. I think got up to maybe even 12. It was 70 to 59. And Anthony, or it was Anthony hit a couple free throws because they went on a run here. I believe they were up 11, perhaps. It was 11. It's a 13 to 1 run here. Yeah, in largest the last lead. Four minutes. Largest lead was. Missouri State by 11 at the 438 mark. The Blue Jays have gotten back into this by getting some stops, putting some pressure on the ball, and going back to a man-to-man -man defense. So in the last four minutes, a 13 to one run. And that's all credit because the Jays defensively played a little more intensity there in that last four minute segment. But the question is now, this is probably the big defensive possession of the game. They gotta have a stop here. And you can't let Blake Ahern Get a touch here and get a look. If you foul, you're probably going to give up two points. Yep, you don't want to foul. You don't need to foul. You're in the lead, 72-71. You've just got to continue to play good defense. 43.9 seconds remaining in regulation, but 24 on the shot clock for Missouri State. Porter and Hipma, Funk and Ba, and Tolliver come out to face Laurie and Chaney, Ahern, Ballou, and Devin Mitchell. Chaney to inbound, near side, front court. Jays look a little confused on the inbound. Now they inbound Mitchell, three-quarter court. Now laurie has got it. Crowd on their feet, over 16,000. 17 on the shot clock. Laurie gives up Mitchell. Back Laurie on the far wing. Man-to-man -man defense. There's a screen. Down inside is Laurie. Door shut with nine on the shot clock. Laurie gives up Cheney. Cheney guarded by Porter. Going down right side. Shot off the glass. No good. Tolliver rebound. Tolliver tied up. Reach in foul. On two old teammates, Mitchell and Tolliver. Tolliver's going to the line. And the Blue Jays up 72-71. You can credit Pierce Hibbert right there for stepping in and even taking a charge. That altered China, Tyler Cheney's shot. And a big rebound by Anthony right there. <laughs> and, and a, a better crowd job ball of, of hanging on to it. And a, yeah, great strength right there. And that's a senior coming up big, making a play, going after a rebound. Now big free throws by Tolliver with 21 seconds it's left. Two-shot foul. Two-shot foul, and the Jays up one. The best he can do is give them a three-point lead with 21 seconds left. The Jays here at home. Tolliver at the line. Tolliver's free throw is another but not long. Now he'll shoot another. Mitchell out. Lambert back. Barry Hanson wants a timeout. 
The Blue Jays saw a seven-point halftime lead evaporate. Now Missouri State has seen an 11-point lead evaporate. What a game of this runs. Is, this has been a game of runs. You, you hit the nail on the head. The, thing is the Jays were up 10 at the 17-minute mark. Then Missouri State goes on an 18-2 run. Now the Jays counter with a 14-1 run. It all started when they got out of that zone and went back to that man defense, Jimmy. They did. Right up in the face of the opposition, also a little full court pressure. I, th that's, I think that's the whole thing. They went to a full court press. That created a little energy defensively, and they've been able to get some good st some stops down the stretch, plus they created a couple turnovers. And the other the other thing that needs to be pointed out, Blake Ahern has not had many touches here in the last, what, seven minutes of the game? No, he has not. He has been denied the basketball. So Tolliver at the line to shoot one more free throw. The best he can do is give the Jays a three-point lead with 21 seconds left. Guess who they're going to try to get the ball to? I think everybody in the arena knows who's going to get the shot. Well, who they want to get the shot. Well, Just don't foul him because he's as good as that they no. get and also drawing contact. He's a senior. He's been around. Tolliver at the line. He's got to make this. And he does not. And they keep it alive. Oh, and the Jays have got Pierce. it. Hibma. And now they're trying to foul, and they do. Funk's going to the line with 17 seconds left. Now Funk can make it a two-possession lead. That's just a heads-up play by Pierce right there. So many times you've seen the Jays get beat like that at the line by a little more athletic team. That time, Pierce Hibma, the smart thing, he didn't try to corral it. He just tried to knock it out and did. So now Funk at the line. The preseason player of the year. Knocks it down, another but not long. Let's see if he can do what Tolliver couldn't. Go for two for two and give the Jays a two possession lead with 17 seconds left. Funk back at the line. Bends his knees. Nothing but not long. Crowd on their feet. Four point lead. Jays got to deny a good look here. Cheney up on the wing. Dog pass to Lambert. Funk on him. Lambert going down inside. Got to kick back out. Skip pass. Ahern, get no, shot, shot him away, is good. And that was Laurie with three seconds left, 2.8 seconds. But how big's the made free throw? Because it is 75-74. The Blue Jays got to get it in and got to probably hit a free throw or two. 2.8 seconds, if they can dribble this thing out. Let's hope so. But Missouri State right there, they took too long there to get a shot up. They're, they had the ball with 21 seconds left. Took him 18 seconds to get a shot up. Blue Jays have got two timeouts left, Jimmy. Two timeouts. If there's any question at all about getting the ball inbounds, you call, timeout. call the timeout. And I you got two to work with. I guarantee you he has one of his smarter players taking the ball out here. And all you really got to do is either get it in or throw that long baseball pass. But make sure if you throw that baseball pass, you don't throw it out of bounds. Exactly. So probably you're going to try to get it in to somebody in up close, high percentage. You got to get the ball to Nate here. You really do. You got to. He's your best free throw shooter. He's the best player in the conference. Put the ball in the best player's hands and make him win you the game. Absolutely. And the Blue Jays there on that possession denied the Bears what they wanted. They wanted Ahern. And Ahern to get in touch. Credit Laurie, though, for knocking down that three ball. It was a tough shot, too. It was. He's one. I mean, he was, you know, he's one for two on the night. He's only taken one other shot. Here we go. 2.8 seconds left. The Jays trying to hang on here against Missouri State. It's 75-74 Creighton. Pierce Hibma looking to get it in. He's telling the official, if I can't get it in, I'm calling a timeout. And the thing is, he can run here. It's not a spot throw in. Ahern running the baseline, looking to get it in. And they find Funk, and he's fouled with eight-tenths of a second gone. Nate Funk going to the line. 75-74. Again, the best he can do is give the Jays a three-point lead with two seconds left. Got to love college basketball. Got to love the Valley. Missouri Valley basketball. It, it belongs up there with the other conferences in the country, the BCS conferences. I mean, this game's on national TV today. That, says, that, that tells you a lot. Funk going to the line. He just went two for two. Great arc, great rotation, nothing but nylon. Looks very comfortable as the senior in this role. Embraces it. Nothing but nylon. All right. You talk about ice water in your veins. It's a three-point game. Two Stuck seconds left. All right. They will stay off the inbound, man, and that is Cheney. Baseball pass all the way down. Funk intercepts, and it's over. The Blue Jays come back at home to defeat Missouri State 77-74. to 74. 
The Blue Jays improve to 7-4 overall, but more importantly, hold serve at home and go 1-0 in conference play with Illinois State coming to town on Monday. Meanwhile, Missouri State falls to 10-3 and 1-1 and in conference play. We'll take a break, come back. U.S. Bank postgame show coming up. After this, the final again, Creighton 77, Bears 74. You heard it here on Big Sports 590. Flying a flag to show your pride is the American way. Well, Blue Jay fans, this season, show your true blue support for Omaha's team, the Creighton Blue Jays, by flying your Jays flag on game days. Pick up a new Jays flag today at Lawler's Custom Sportswear in the West Roads and Oakview Malls, or at All Flags on 85th and Cass, or the Creighton University Bookstore. This season, make game days special. Get those Creighton Blue Jay flags out and fly them high with pride for the Blue Jays. We offer some of the region's most advanced cardiac care. We're widely recognized for our cancer research. We train some of the region's brightest and most sought after doctors and nurses. We offer a broad range of minimally invasive surgeries. And there's one thing we do that no other medical institution in the world can. We proudly bear the Creighton name. Creighton University Medical Center. When it comes to a great tasting, nutritious snack, you can't beat a bowl of popcorn. And there's no popcorn like Orville Redenbacher's Gourmet Popcorn. 60 years of hybrid testing have resulted in popcorn that is lighter and fluffier than ordinary popcorn. Orville Popcorn has zero trans fats and is a nutritious, great tasting snack. Whether it's listening or watching your favorite game at home, make sure you always have plenty of Orville Redenbacher Gourmet Popcorn handy. Orville Redenbacher's, a Conagra Foods product. Security National Bank is your hometown bank, locally owned and managed with 13 full-service branches. Security National Bank offers a wide range of services to its customers, including checking and savings accounts, home and business loans, auto loans, and trust services. Always with competitive rates and design to meet your needs. A proud supporter of Creighton Blue Jay basketball, Security National Bank, serving the community we call home. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. U.S. Bank postgame show. T. Scott Moore, Jimmy Motes here with you. Jimmy, what was the attendance today? Uh, tonight's attendance is brought to you by Godfather's Pizza. Pizza piled pile high. Tonight's attendance was 15,684, the third largest crowd ever to see a basketball game in the Quest Center. We are now joined by Blue Jay assistant Darren DeVries. This postgame interview brought to you by the Interdoke Bogey. Call 877-BOGEY-FUN for more information. All right, uh, T-Rock, congratulations. Thanks a lot, uh, T. Scott. That was a much-needed win here at home. Oh, that was unbelievable. We, uh, you know, the first half we were just scoring so easily, and then the second half when we quit scoring, you know, I thought our energy really let down, and even our crowd's energy kind of let down a little bit. Yep. And uh, we were kind of just dead in the water, and then uh, they missed a couple free throws late to help us out, and uh, our guys kept fighting, turned up the D a little bit, and then this crowd just took over. Uh, Coach Henson, as he's walking through, he said, this one's for the crowd. He, he just pointed up at the crowd and said, we couldn't do it. And uh, I thought that was just unbelievable. That's what this building can do when it's really into a game and stuff. And, and it helped us win the game. Unquestionably helped us win the game in those last five minutes tonight. And, um, you know, some guys really stepped up and made some plays. And it, and it wasn't, uh, you know, Isaac Miles had a bad game today. He had been playing well. Uh, but other guys stepped in. Nick Porter got some big rebounds late. And Pierce Hibma comes to Pierce mind. Pierce comes, comes to mind uh, as well. Just, just some guys coming, and, and Dane Watts hitting a big three late in the game after not getting a whole lot uh, during the game. I mean, that was uh, that was really fun. That's it. Hopefully, that's what this team needed right there to get us going. Uh, just one of those games where, to be honest, you're probably not supposed to win, but you fought and fought and. And now those last five minutes, we found a way to win. And all of our four losses, we were right there with five minutes to go, and we found a way to lose. This game with five minutes to go, we were down, and we found a way to win this time. And this is a, this is a character-building game that hopefully can propel you right into this conference season. D-Rock, you were down 11 with 4.38 to play, and I thought your former player, Jimmy Mode, said it best. Your Jays didn't give in. No, they really didn't. And, and we told them, just keep fighting, keep going at them, get to the free throw line, drive it to the hole, throw it inside. Because uh, we were at the free throw line, uh, uh, they, we were in the double bonus early, and we wanted to try to take advantage of that. And they didn't have much inside left. They had all fouled out. They had gone to a smaller lineup, which had helped them kind of build the lead. But in the end, it, you know, they couldn't rebound quite as well, and we were able to go inside. Uh, so the last five minutes, I thought that hurt them. 
even though it's what really got them propelled uh, during their stretch stretch run to get the lead. So um, couldn't be prouder. What, what an atmosphere those last four or five minutes of the game. That's uh, that's what these kids all came to Creighton for because we promised them they'd play in front of a huge <laughs> crowds like that, and this crowd did not disappoint them. I thought one of the big things today was how unselfish you guys played. On 25 field goals made, 20 assists. Nate Funk with seven assists, 23 points. Talk about that a little bit and the unselfishness of this team. Well, I think it really started in Hawaii. Uh, we finally told our guards after a bad Fresno State game, we didn't have, have any assists, no ball movement. Everybody was trying to do it on their own. And then the first game in Hawaii, Valpo, and then Houston, and then even the Hawaii game, our guards, guys started sharing the ball. And once we did that, we started scoring. It was It's amazing how that kind of relates to one another. Um, and and guys, guys were scoring easier. Like, hey, this is kind of fun. This is pretty neat. So uh, tonight was it was no different. Guys were trying to make plays for other people. I mean, even when you have some of the turnovers we had, it wasn't like guys were trying to be selfish in those turnovers. And you can live with your guys are going to make mistakes, and we tell our guys that all the time. Just keep playing hard. Uh, be strong with it as best you can, and, and be unselfish. And, and, and tonight it helped us get a big win. That We really needed this one tonight to – uh, with Illinois State coming back on Monday, you would have hated to walk out of here with a loss and now come and grind one out with Illinois State on Monday. We need to, we need to get this thing going, and this was a great time to do it. D-Rock, this crowd today saw two of the best guards in the Valley, and Ahern and Nate Funk, and you kind of looked at that and said, who's going to get the better of, of one another? Ahern's been a, a known Blue Jay killer. He was putting up shots early on, but that down the stretch when you guys made your run, you did a wonderful job at denying him comfortable looks at the ball or any looks at the ball when you went to that press and the man defense up here and really got up in their shorts Ahern was out of his rhythm it really was and Ahern's one of those guys the reason he's so good when you make a mistake you'll know and he'll let you know that you made a mistake by putting three points on the board yep one time you forget about him he makes you pay and he did that today and every time I mean he's shooting 60 almost 60 percent from yep. three that's almost 80 some percent from two I mean do the <laughs> math on that and we told him you cannot let this kid set his feet. If you're going to do anything, you make him put it on the floor and you make him drive it. And the other part, then when he drives it, you can't follow him because he's 90-some percent from the line. <laughs> and he's a, he's a good, tough, hard-nosed player. And, and uh, we, to be honest, our game plan, we really felt like if, if Ahern didn't score, we would win. So we were very fortunate because he scored tonight. Well, you guys had four guys in double figures tonight, uh, D-Rock, and you talk about a total team effort. But my goodness, I mean, no surprise you're seniors. But again, you get a solid effort out of your bench. Uh, again, six huge points by Pierce Hibbert, who comes into the game and gets three layups right out of the gate and the flow of the offense. And then uh, even Manny Gaku, who gave you some quality minutes in there. Uh, Nick Baugh played solid basketball with five assists and one turnover. The bench is going to be so critical for you guys coming down the stretch. D-Rock with now the loss of Ty Morrison's off the team. Uh, Lawson still nursing his knees. Dotzler's out for a little while. These guys on the bench are going to be huge, and they came up big today. I mean, not in the scoring column, but they played solid D, and they gave your starters some rest. Absolutely. We have to have those guys out there. We need their minutes, and, and then we need some production. And, uh, you know, a guy like Anthony Tolliver, though, tonight, not to change change where we were going oh, yeah. with that, but a guy like Anthony Tolliver, this game meant so much to him because Springfield, Missouri is his hometown. And, and he, Kickapoo High was well represented today. <laughs> he comes in and gets 20-6, and six and... and uh, that was something he wanted this one very badly and in the huddle i mean you could see it on his face he's urging and begging guys to keep fighting and keep scrapping and and late in the game he had a couple of huge blocks and a couple of rebounds and a dunk and then that dunk really kind of got the crowd back on his feet yeah, when it cut it from, I believe, 9 to 7 or something like that. Yep. And got us into our press, our full court press again, and we just got them sped up a little bit. Uh, D-Rock, I thought today was a great example of what Anthony Tolliver is going to mean to this team in conference play. There are very few teams in the Valley that are going to match up well with A-Train this year. I mean, he really can dominate a game inside. Well, and that's the other thing we told him. If we'll throw it inside, they'll foul. And they did. And they got in foul trouble, and then they had to go to a smaller lineup. Yep. And then we really had him. Because yep. now Anthony against the 6'4 guy, he's just too big of a load to handle down there. And when you drive the ball at the basket and you throw it inside, you get a lot better shots. You get to the free throw line a lot better. And, and it just sets a different tempo, and, a, and it dictates a little more to what the teams are trying to do to you. And it gives you that kind of mentality of being aggressive, being tough, being strong, being physical, and then, and then you can go ahead and get those inside-out three.